In World of 100 Realms, not being prepared for a session is an offense considered to be especially heinous. Today, our Game Master is given a session to run that he had no prior knowledge of, and was forced to learn the story the same time as the players. This is the story of Realm 69, the Bro Zone. Wait, bong bong? It's the Law and Order thing, like, dun dun. Oh, oh, bong bong. I don't know what's happening. That's why I look scared. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty scared, to be honest. Hey, Alan, can you, what's yeah, going on? So, Jay, welcome us back to World of 100 Realms. Welcome back to World of 100 Realms. My name is Jay, your DM, and today we will be playing... Actually, I have no idea what Jay we're playing. Jay doesn't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. What's, what's all this in front of me? We kind of had a busted schedule. As we fleshed out the concept, I pitched an idea where Realm 99 would be a random realm that we could kind of play on the fly with rules. Okay. Randomized. Someone could jump in, not having a one-shot prepped. Okay. This is not that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what, what, is, what is this? What am I looking at here? It looks like I'm being investigated for murder. Yep. So everything Again. down there um, is there to make your life easy because you have no idea what we're doing. Not a clue. Don't flip anything or look at it until you're asked to. Okay. But I am going to introduce what realm number we're in. It's on the other side of that. Manila folder. Oh, what is it? Flip it over and just read what it says. Realm 69. Hey. Yeah! Nice. Mucho Just gusto. The sex number. 69 equals joke. Drew, is that how top secret documents usually are? No, they're stamped with red. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're, they're tucked in between the pictures that you have of yourself that you designed on a Time magazine. Can I check out your laptop real quick? Um, you cannot. So do not open Those that yet. Secrets. I'm going to do a little bit of setup and tell people what the actual setting is and maybe give some people time to tweak their character if needed. Yep, yep. Yep, because uh, having a favorite enemy and favorite terrain don't work if you don't know either. <laughs> so I have set Alan, this up. Can you can you uh, let them know what our guidelines were before we uh -huh. created these characters? I don't know why you did this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if <laughs> one of these characters are not like the others. Hey. So I set this up to be a party of four to five players, break uh -huh. glass in case of emergency, and play. I've given everyone the guideline of level three. Did that filter down to everyone? Yeah. So far, you've created a level three character. Cool. I'm a little I fast. also said everyone is like early age 20 or early age 20 mindset. So if you're an elf and you're 50 years old, that's the age of a early 20s human. All right, here we go. You guys exist in a world similar to the early 2000s. Got it. Adjust. Take it in. Nope. It does have, man <laughs> it does have magic and fantasy races. Um, people can anachronistically wear armor and carry weapons of fantasy, or you can take a beat and adjust it. So if you said, hey, I had studded leather armor, you can adjust that and be like, I am a punk rock guy wearing a leather jacket or something. Or it can just be leather armor, and that's just the world that you guys live in. In lieu of guns, people use the weapons and tools of high fantasy. So a cop does not have a gun. They might have a mace or a sword. Got it? Cool, like cool, Detroit. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's not outrageous for people to walk around in, ad in adventuring gear, but if people fight in public, the police might come and kill them or arrest them, whatever. Mm. We'll see what happens. It might be a short session. Like Detroit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Modern day Detroit. We're Why really start slamming there? Detroit today, guys. Just some flavor. Cars might be mixed in with anachronistic transports. So a car might go by, then a chariot might go by, then like a no orc, carpet. half orc carried Sedan might go by. Half That's work. Half work. Throwing them under the bus. <laughs> under the strong. sedan. They're strong. I don't know. You, do you want to ride on a sedan carried by gnomes? <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty baller. <laughs> they could carry. Like 20 of them down there spinning. Oh. I, I call it the centipede. <laughs> this movie came out in theaters called Gnome Centipede. I cannot unrecommend this movie enough. Do not snap into it. What's up? This is John. Hi, John. We have to do this now? Yeah. You, yeah, sure. You do. Um, okay. I'm John. I'm 40 oh, in my real notes. life. Uh, but I lived through the early 2000s, and I'm honored to be here uh, on your beautiful stage with all your upside down notes. I love that you wrote notes for who you were. <laughs> you don't want to mess that one up, right? That's, fair. That's unforgivable. Uh, um, I am a high school graduate with good counting. Did you major in counting? That was one of our jokes. No, I didn't. No, did not? No, okay. that wasn't. Have you, have you watched our other episodes? Offered at my school. Um, the John I Sweating. Have, yes, I totally of watched course everything. I, my lawyer advised me that no one's actually watching this. I'm just here to make Alan happy. John, I can hear that. 
Can you not hear me? How do the bubbles work? Can I talk to my can I talk to my client here for a moment? That was me. A little bit more flavor just for the DM and everyone in the room. Cell phones do not exist. It's the Seinfeld thing. Why does Seinfeld not call and ask where his stupid friend is? It's because it's that era of time and also technology magic. There's no cell phones. Got it? Cool. cool what cool. about the sending spell? Yeah, that replaces magic cell phone. Yeah. Smoke signal. It's a world of magic, so they would use a sending spell instead of a cell phone. Sure. It pops up the same way the bubble does in modern movies, <laughs> like it's the same text bubble. Computers are uncommon and the internet is spotty, so you also can't be like, hey, we're going on the computer and Googling something. Is this just Detroit? Just like the 2000s. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is more describing for people who did not live through the 2000s what it was like. Oh, it my was, bad. Oh. Uh, we just had, had oh, invented shit. the wheel. Those yeah. people exist. They do exist, yeah. Uh, yeah Those are wow. teenagers. We're going to call gold gold bucks just for... Gold bucks? You don't have gold, you have gold bucks. I love the early 2000s. Yeah, the Gas was like one gold buck a gallon. Jay, how are you feeling? Um, I'm <laughs> terrified. <laughs> I'm scared and terrified. I, I've written down everything that I know and can remember about um, the 2000s, and I don't have a lot, but I'm gonna use them as focal points. Did you did you write down Toxic by Britney Spears? I have Britney Spears written down, yes. Excellent, perfect. Uh, hey, Damn it, I have that costume at home. Jay is literally going in blind other than knowing characters for you, are level three. I gave him an easy and hard mode. Easy mode was giving him some information ahead of time, and he refused. I don't know why, you made a hard one. Why Y2J. So oh. Alan gave it to Jay pretty hard. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, I think I described this in Discord, but you're of like a post high school, undergrad college age, but for whatever reason, you weren't college material. You just kind of loafed around instead of going to college or couldn't get in, or you just enjoyed partying and hanging out. That's also the vibe of that age for some people. Oh. Lived it. Yeah. If you guys want to Sounds take familiar. a beat and kind of rethink your characters a little bit, but I think everyone is probably in the ballpark there with the information given, right? Right? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I'm absolutely perfect. Um, <laughs> in every single way. I would say no tweaks needed this over is here. <laughs> Fantastic. No notes. Eddie, you know we have at least two realms that are wrestling themed, and this was not one of them. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, given the, uh, the the timing, I did forget about that. But, uh, <laughs> it's fine. I love it. I, I hope all of reprising your reprising characters. <laughs> if you think for a second that Savage Rundy can't cross the multi-dimensional divide, you've got another thing coming, buddy. The general premise is you ha all have an apartment you probably live together in. You at least all hang out there together. If <laughs> yeah. But the premise is you mostly, you basically live in one apartment that most of you are roommates in, perhaps all of them. Two and a half men. By volume. I'm going to have everyone roll four D20s. That's just going to determine how many gold bucks you start with. Four D20s? Yeah. So somewhere between four and 80 gold bucks is what you start with. <laughs> Come on, four. Oh, I want to look at this stuff. I know you do. I wish these auto added. Jay, you should have been reading all of that. No. <laughs> you I thought you to. were good at counting. I mean, I took it. I, mm. I did take, I was near the class in the high school. Ah, uh, good, yes. So counting, four bigger than two. Two, not four. And middles, it's all math, but basically remember the middles. Got 66 gold. First point of order, Jay and the audience would like to know who everyone's character is. I would love to go clockwise, but I kind of want to start with Eddie. Let's <laughs> let's end with Eddie. John, I'll put you on the spot. You're Fuck the yeah. you're the metaphorically new guy at the table, even though metaphorically, even yeah. though we've played most uh, the majority of us have played with you for quite a while. My character Tiaint is uh, <laughs> half orc ranger. Uh, he lives in an apartment building with a lot of people that he's kind of become near and dear with. Uh, doesn't care much about the ways of the world, kind of developed his own philosophy from years of learned study. He's uh, a very intrinsically brilliant half-orc. Uh, the, on the outside kind of appears like a brash, uh, really uncharismatic fool. Uh, but, you know, in his own mind, he's, he's brilliant. Um, he comes from a big family of half-orcs. His older brother was a dick. His younger brother was kind of an asshole. <laughs> And uh, in the middle of it all was Taint. Some more math. Divide the asshole and the dick, and you got Taint. <laughs>
So he kind of makes his way around town now after having graduated top of his counting class in high school. Uh, he chose to skip college and mainly makes his way by marketing his services, uh, wherein he uses some of his skills to locate things. What class were you in, John? Uh, half orc gloomstalker ranger, if that matters. Cool. How many hit points do you have? We're level three. Just curious. 28. Can you, can you spell your character's yeah, name for us? T apostrophe A I N T. So, so taint. Got it. All right. T ain't. Yes. T oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. It means middle child in orcish and half okay, orcish. <laughs> in, in some dialects. That's, in my, in my, in my oh, tribe, in my family, that's at canon. my house. That's good. That's good. <laughs> to me. Hold on. All right. Drew, introduce your character, please. Um, I am playing uh, Feklu Darheel. Uh, Feklu is a uh, wood elf druid, circle of the moon. Uh, man, he really liked philosophy 101 once he got a dose of that at college. And you know what? That really just kind of opened stuff up for him. He started reading lots of stuff like Jung and, uh, and Freud. Uh, um, I think it's pronounced Jung, by the way. Um, <laughs> it's not. Okay. I've only seen it. I've only seen it written and I haven't had anybody to talk to this about that hasn't uh, wanted me to stop talking about it. The mic is blocking my face in this scene because I'm short. Oh, yeah. um, this, uh, <laughs> this wood elf is just trying to actualize himself at this point, ascend a little bit. And, uh, and maybe if some like someone cute listens to and read his poetry, <laughs> that's fine too. Awesome. How many hit points do you have? Just Alan, that's a real personal question. Okay, you don't have to tell me. I don't. Yes, you do. Jay probably wants to. Know. I, I would love to know. Well, I'll, t I'll tell Jay. 24. I can hear. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't really know how headphones work, if I'm being honest. Anyway, Mute your Rob, ears. Uh, please introduce your character. Uh, my character's name is Zudes, like nudes, but the N is then turned to a Z. Yes. I am a Shadar Kai ranger. Shadar Kai is from the new Monsters of the Multiverse book. Dope. Uh, they have a bunch of playable characters and monsters in there. So Is that good? Is that worth buying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have not read that. Uh, oh, you can also get it for free. Edit that out. In the early 2000s, people would find and download music for free from sources like Napster and LimeWire with no negative consequences. <laughs> so basically the Shadar Kai are like dream elves. They're not quite like dark elves. They're not quite light elves. They're this weird bastard of the Raven Queen. Looks very elfish, but like has sickly yellow skin and like very dark eyes, dark hair. Do you have jaundice? I don't know. A little bit. Like he looks, he looks kind of sickly. And uh, growing up on, you know, kind of the uh, streets and more or less in poverty of Detroit uh, or wherever, <laughs> or, or, or any city. <laughs> it's a fantasy. Detroit city. is historically filled with jaundice. It's Detroit. <laughs> Actually, it's called uh, Scrum Town is the town you live in. He, he definitely scrum, is a- Scrum a, Town? Scrum Town. Scrum Town. Like, wrong, Jay? like a rugby scrum. You having many regrets? Well, so far we have Taint, Fuck You, and Nudes as character names. Good. I'm waiting for- Please, for your please continue, Rob. Please continue. Yeah. Uh, so chip on his shoulder, and uh, he's probably still older than the rest of the group, but he's he's moving up in the world, and finally he lives in this apartment with all these people. Cool. That he what? doesn't necessarily like. Yes. Yeah, based on a true story. Twenty-five. <laughs> Eddie. Yes. Go, Eddie. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Poffo, but uh, my friends call me Rundy. Oh no, Sandy Ravage? No, that's my mother's name. I went to college on a baseball scholarship, but it uh, found my real punch pension for uh, underground cage fighting. There was nobody that I couldn't defeat in single combat. <laughs> and unfortunately, the... the Dean, he found me and he kicked me out. What position did I play in baseball? I was the catcher. And if you make one joke, I'll rip your arm off and beat you to death with it. it hasn't been good for old Rundy since then, but I ran into these fucks. <laughs> and they're all right. Rundy, we love having you around, man. Oh, uh, yeah. How many hit points does Rundy have there? Uh, I got too many, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many hit points for anybody to take down. I got 34 hit points. Woo. Three, four <laughs> hit points. <laughs> You've never seen so many fucking hit points in your life. <laughs> what class are you? What class do you think I am? The are nuts. You a barbarian? No, of course not. I'm a battle master fighter. <laughs> he did go to college. Yeah. 
Just looking for my Miss Elizabeth. Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth. You don't know anything about Miss Elizabeth? I, this is not a bit I'm doing, I do not. Oh no, Miss Elizabeth was Randy Savage's first wife. Okay. She, was, she was his wrestling manager for a while okay. and then they got married. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that was more for me. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a bit, I was like. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry if these fucking casuals don't know anything about Miss Elizabeth. Do you have any like rivals in your life, Rundy? Oh uh, yeah, there's this, there's this Hulk son of a bitch. <laughs> He's uh, a Goliath. He's from Hollywood. I don't know. He's got a weird mustache. Yeah. Why don't big, we? Why don't we like him? Guy. Why don't we like him? Um, because he's a heel. Oh, that's, that's right. That. And so you're, good. you're definitely not a heel. Nope, not a heel. Never. Everybody likes Savage Rundy. Uh, I'm also really a big fan of jerky. Okay. Processed, highly, highly salted uh, jerky sticks. What do those jerky sticks go by? The name. <sighs> A, a skinny uh, I don't a believe skinny we bombs. can afford that. Slender James. Break into a skinny bob. Oh, yeah. Every player is going to have a number because there are some things to pass out. Determine how you want to pick who is player one. I rolled a d4 and I made Rundy player one. You're player one. <laughs> Always and forever, buddy. Determine who's two, three, and four. He's three. You're four, you're two. And so pass these down and give them to the appropriate people. I don't Just write your, I your name on there. These two cards are going to two players that are not player one. Everyone is getting at least one secret card. Don't read them right now. Hey. Well done. Do I hold, them, hold on to them? No, give them to two players that are not player one. Okay. Then you this one. Oh, well. That. Will you hand that, hand that to him and then... Uh, not player one. This is, everyone's gonna get at least one. This is information that you guys have. Don't show it to another player or let them read it. If it's shareable in game, you can do that or, or choose not to. My secret is that I have a Sharpie and I don't know where it came from. That's not a problem. And everyone is going to get, that one's yours. Who did not get one? I didn't get one. Drew? Pass this one to Drew. All right. My mystery card says that I woke up with a set of keys and a tarot card that I don't remember receiving. <laughs> I guess we're leaving again. And so there are two there bonus go. cards. <laughs> Determine who is, who is getting a bonus card. Bonus, bonus. So one to Eddie. One to Eddie, one to Drew. Yeah. You get one and pass this one to Drew. Because I like his costume. That's what it is. Fully realized backstory right here. <laughs> 45 <laughs> okay. pages on the Wikipedia. Okay, okay. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My secret card says that I woke up with 500 extra gold and I don't know where it came from. I'll be right back. Gotta poop, be right back. My secret is I woke up with a wand I don't recognize and I feel compelled to hide it. Oh, I also have a small blank spell scroll. The next part of setup is every player is going to get a player dossier. Again, similar to these cards, this is information that you guys have. You can share it in game or not, depending on what it says on there. While they're reading this, you can go ahead and open that up and read the, the DM dossier. So, um, Eddie, you are player one, right? Uh, yeah. And without looking at these, pass these out to their player numbers on top, pass them out to the appropriate players. Take one, pass it down. <laughs> so, like, can I read my more, dossier? You'll get more stuff as it goes along. <laughs> I'm not giving you a lot of book to read at the beginning. <laughs> I am allowed to read my own dossier. Yes. yes. Yeah, right. Just make sure it says player one, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. My card says I have a headache. Oh no. Everyone else's card says that they can see Rundy's forehead and there's the letter 69 written across it in black ink. The fucking number. You know what I meant. The number. Everyone else's card says that Rundy has the letter. We were to say the letter. <laughs> Everyone else's card says that on Rundy's forehead, the number 69 is written across in black ink. There's a map? I just got the other <laughs> Just a quick note. You know how sometimes in combat, there'll be a pause when someone rolls dice. There'll be a few moments where Jay has to look at something, briefly read it over. That's, that's going to be a normal beat part of this game. Just let it happen. You can have some cross character talk during that or just let him catch up because he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. And that's part of the game. Wow. So the first thing you're gonna do, that should lead you to the beat one card, Jay, which is that folder straight in front of you, no, right in there. It does say beat, set beats, right? And the, the first paper on top should be beat one. I wanna know how long it took you to make this. Not that long. <laughs> that seems <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> it would take me a week just to print something. 
And so you have a Jay, typewriter. I you can you can <laughs> lean on me, but from here on out, you you need to follow the instructions and run the game as best as you are able. Okay. Unbelievable. Which we've all seen how that goes. I'm I'm thrilled by this and I'm terrified by this. I am so scared. Great. I'm at half mass. <laughs> Break into a skinny bob. Wait, what line are you putting this after? All we're, we're gonna get it all the way up. Sex jokes are always funny. Take it, Jay. What was the name of the town again? I'm sorry. Scrum Town. Scrum Town, aka Detroit. Detroit is a fine city. This was not based on Detroit. They just made that up. Please don't sleep. All right. Beautiful morning in Scrum Town. 9.30 a.m. The sun's starting to shoot through the windows of a dirty apartment and slightly smelly. The party. All these lovely gentlemen are waking up starting to come to after what seems to be as they look around the apartment a wild night Ugh. there are cans bottles empties pizza boxes thrown around and and it all takes you a, a while to you know kind of come to as you know your disgusting breath and like the coughing up the cigarette smoke of last night you know the, the thing that basically is in all of your heads is i'm Never drinking again. Good morning. Ow. Oh. Fuck you. <clears throat> I've never slept. I've never slept in this chair um, upside down. Oh, I've only slept in this chair right side up. I want to find the tabaxi that shit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's too early to laugh like that. Does anyone have any of my cigarettes? No, I'm out. Also, <laughs> over under. I don't have cigarettes. <sighs> someone, um, someone, someone's uh, spilled their uh, entire. Um, can we say bong? Yes. Okay. Bong. Someone spilled their entire bong um, on me. I think That's, that was you. Somebody might be me. Yeah. Definitely you. And, and so, Jay, when you're when you're ready, beat two is in the folder. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I got it. Does anybody oh, have yeah. any aspirin, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, mm -hmm. healing Zoots. spell? Uh, Zoots, as you're looking at Savage Rundy, um, he kind of throws his hair back and tattooed across his forehead in black ink. I was supposed to let the players reveal this, is, but uh, the instructions were clear and I the could read them. Letter number 69. I chortle. And carry on. My head is killing me. That's all. I, I may uh, nudge whoever's closer to me and kind of. Uh, I think uh, tilt toward. Uh, I think sometime last night we ended up drawing on Rundy's face. I thought I was using a skinny bob, but it it might have been a full on marker. But it looks great. Wait, what are we? What are we seeing here? Not only. Not only were you wasting the best beef stick on the planet for a prank, but you drew on my head. I, I thought it was a skinny bob, but it turns out it was a marker, which means I ate a marker and you have art on your face now. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, is there, do, do we own a mirror? Mm. That broke months ago. Yeah. A, a mirror exists, yeah. A mirror exists. Good. I go to the mirror. How's the artwork? Is it good? No. This looks it's like hastily. Shit. It's hastily drawn, and like where you like you get that ink in like the crevices of your skin, and it like spiders out and like does not have clean lines. That's going on all over, and it's even smudged a little bit where you were napping. Hey, it could be. It could be worse. I think it looks great. The ain't. This is without a doubt. The coolest fucking yeah. tattoo I've ever seen! Oh. Run me six nine, baby! Oh yeah. Ooh. So as you guys have an outburst like that, you know, break out, there's like a <laughs> on the front of your door. Who's <laughs> oh. <laughs> what there's, is there's our, a knock on your door? Why does our door sound like flash? <laughs> In the early two thousands, most doors were actually made of meat. Uh I, guys, I, I got it. It's I a got mimic. It. I see I, I see That's them over over by the mirror. Um, I stand up out of the armchair and kind of kick some cans out of the way, and I 
meander my way. Uh, do we have curtains by this door? There's a, a peephole, but, but it's it's your outside door. It's an apartment building, so your front door is on the inside of a hallway. Uh, okay, I, I peek out. Outside, you see a familiar face. You uh. see your downstairs neighbor, uh. um, Gregory. Um, he's a 30s, 30s uh, lycanthrope. Oh. So you know him to you know be relatively a good neighbor, um, but he seems to be like have a, has a silk robe open oh. with a revealing his like kind of graying hair, hairy chest, and he's just kind of like sitting there with his arms crossed, and uh, hey. he knocks again. Shh, shh. It's Gre- it's Gregory. It's Gregory. I had three possible NBC neighbors to pick from. Is interrupting his bubble bath for us again? Uh, yeah, he I just needs some. Always looks like that. Oh, I know. So he and looks I, fabulous. I, yeah, you can say that. I, I, I peek out. I say, morning, Gregory. How are you? Oh, Cake Lou. How are you, baby? Oh, you look disgusting. He, like, kind of peers into the apartment and goes, looks like you boys got a little wild last night. I, I, I keep the door pinched up shut. It's just like my cheeks right there. I'm like, yeah, we, we did. Um, I, did. Did we bother you at all? I know it's like us. Yeah, baby, you know, you know that I know particularly that I can get a little out of control, too. But last night was a little over the edge for me. Um, it was loud until four in the morning. You know, I need my beauty sleep. I'll give you three gold bucks if you leave now. Oh, that could buy me a popper or two. But I'm just asking you to keep it down, baby. Just try to keep it down a little bit next time and save your... Money. Okay, Gregory. Uh, we're- I don't go away for pay. And also, by the way, we got your invitation for mimosa brunch. Um, yeah. I, mm. I, it's a, it's a maybe for me. Yeah, I understand, but we're just know my Rundy for one. Yeah, Rundy's in though. <laughs> I know I can always count on you for a brunch. Anyway, full moons next week. You know what that means, boys. We're partying until dawn. Then. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I, I don't All think. All right. I'm- but until then, could you if you could keep it down a little bit? I would appreciate it. Also, Grundy, you've got a something uh, to go on. It's pretty sweet. Good morning, right? boys. And then he kind of closes sashays his robe away and sashays. <laughs> but they see something. So as he walks away, um, where you right before you close the door, there is a note taped to the door. <sighs> it has a smiley face drawn on it. I'm never drinking again. I I rip the the note off the door. So Jay might need a moment to read this, though it's kind of the the reading the note is kind of <laughs> perfunctory. <laughs> read the note, Jay. It uh, it has hostage All vibes. Right, so, so, you, so you open it up. You open it up. There's a a smiley face drawn on it. It's a my instructions were to read this in a freaking dude boy state. Dudes, I have some pre made stuff you need kid. to come check out. I tried to come in, but I heard screaming. I hope no one's dead. <laughs> Jaking. I mean, I do hope no one's dead, but like. I know you guys weren't killing anyone. That's what I was particularly joking about. But anyway, get down here. Yours truly, Zephronicus. Zephronicus? Zephronicus. Oh, Zephronicus. Is it written twice as though there's a beat for them to ask and him, he says his name again? That's right. And then it's there's me, even, Zephron- it's even it's even a beat down here where Alan asked me to explain the second beat and I say Zephronicus again. P.S. Did you hear that Jester got robbed? <laughs> what? Uh, people, yes. Uh, that shit is crazy. All right. Hey. All right. I hate this guy. We have, Zephron- we, we have weird friends. Also, uh, hey, Zephronicus is holding. Also, uh, who got robbed? Jester, dude. Jester? Yo, Zephronicus is holding and Jester got robbed. So I'm going to pause here and introduce a, a quick game mechanic. So as the game progresses, they're going to be known locations. Okay. Um, if the players want to go off book, they can go to them. So that's that's the holder. For, leave that there. That's the holder. <laughs> You're going to put known locations there just for reference. So underneath that, the uh, unknown locations to your left, all the way to the left. The, I think the top two cards, go ahead and just take the top card that says apartment, put it on known locations. And I'm just showing you how that works. So if the players don't follow the plot and they're like, we want to go back to the apartment, that exists. But they now have two quest locations that are that are I'm calling free beats on the free beat folder, which is, turn over the top two index cards. It should say free beat, yeah, Zephronicus and free beat. 
So Veronicus is loft and the dirty jesters. Yep. Continue on the uh, the beat beat three card. Real quick, I want to say that this is already feeling like I'm DMing Memento. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, there's like all these clues that I'm rediscovering. That's what I tattoos for. <laughs> Dude, the whole point of Memento is that he was a ghost the whole time, right? Did you bring any red yarn to start connecting? Is that part of? <laughs> Sick, dude. I'm guessing that they would know the about jesters. Is jesters a bar? Um. So keep reading. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Since we're out of cigarettes and uh, I'm out of um. And we're out of coffee. Anti uh, meth anti venom. Yeah. Uh, we should uh, we should probably go and check out Zephyr. Can I can I get a Constitution check from everybody, please? I gotta use my big fuck you dice that Alan got me for my birthday for this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, a six. Three. That's a 12. 14. 12. Everybody except for you, your stomach just goes. <laughs> that, say, that sickly, empty feeling after a night of partying. You guys are hungover and starving. Uh, I'm thinking first order of business. Well, you guys are all thinking first order of business is probably to get something greasy and mm. cheesy mm -hmm. and melty. That's probably first on your minds as you guys are thinking about Zephronicus and Jesters. Oh, definitely could use some skinny Bob casserole. Do we have any left? Just mm -mm. I checked the fridge. There's no skinny Bob <laughs> when sandwiches. You open the fridge, when you open the fridge, a bat flies out and flies <laughs> out of the window. I catch it. I, I would like to <laughs> bite its head off. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Snap into a bat. Snap into a bat, Jim. Dex oh, check. Yeah. If you want to try to catch it, Dex check. Oh, hell yeah. That's the main uh, meat in a skinny bomb. Dex I think. check or Dex save? Dex check. Gotta be a 17. That's a dirty 20. Okay. Well, yeah, you catch it, but it's just a bat going uh, in your I'll, hand. I will gladly eat the bat. We are no, the, no, I, I, I'm, I've already eaten the bat. Yeah. <laughs> we are out of skinny bob casserole. You, you get the into question. my mouth <laughs> like a baby bird. You're just Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I'm a bugbear. I don't care. Oh, brother, I'm a druid. We oh. we talked about this. My bat, my bats are my property. I hate having roommates. Someone's always eating my stuff. And Please don't call business. me brother. That's very triggering for me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> That asshole yeah. calls me that all the time. I know, man. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. Oh. We do need to go see Zephronicus, though. But if you're, if Bre you're hungry, breakfast is go. first. But you guys, you guys would know that Bre there's a diner fine. below your. There's like a cafe below your apartment oh, that like you guys spend like mother. most most weekdays in. Like when you're supposed to have a job and like be working, you guys spend a lot of time in this cafe. Plus, I need to talk to the chefs down there. We do some deals usually in the morning. All oh, right. Honestly, there's a lot of connects. In this apartment building alone, it's a, it's a This apartment building is its own city. You know, Gregory. This. It's Gre Gregory for sure. So, what's on the agenda? What are you guys up to? Food. Food. Okay. Okay. I want Fair enough. two number sevens. Fair enough. So, uh, where where are you guys going? Are you going to the to the, the cafe downstairs? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's go to the um, diner. Yeah. So, what's you, the name of this cafe downstairs? Cafe downstairs. Carrazas. I was told to ad lib what the food spot Everybody was. By Gregory. <laughs> no. Okay. Just his family. Probably but it, but it's, yeah. a, it's a it's kind of a coffee shop, like a normal Americano style. Um, you know, the there's like, you know, some hot things being served out, but most of like you see the people with like a Danish or a pastry, coffee is being, you know, rang up. Um, it's kind of kind of before the time of the latte, so there's like a lot of just big cups of drip coffee just being spilled out. And uh, yeah, you guys see a, a familiar face. Um, you see Tiffany, the very nice very attractive uh, barista sitting there and goes, oh, hi guys, how's your night? Shh, Sorry Tiffany. I couldn't come to the party last night. Oh. Good morning, Good morning, Tiffany. <clears throat> oh, uh, Rundy, you've got a, you've got a, some, something Shh, on Tiffany. Mm -mm, yeah, it's mm -mm. pretty sweet, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway, what can I get you guys? It says 69, <laughs> uh, yeah, you like it? <laughs> Thanks, right. Tank, or Tia. Sorry, I get confused. It's okay, I'll <laughs> order in the middle. Uh, I'll just have a, a large because we don't call them venti yet. Before their IPO in 2006, Starbucks was a asteroid mining company. Dude. I would like a buttery sandwich. Uh, I'm looking for a scone. Like with meat. Tiffany, could I have a meat sandwich? So the regular? Talk to the sh to, Yeah. And, we, and we'll have you, a regular. Yeah. 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 We tell the line cook that I've, I've got a simple. We got to talk. Tell them the TNC here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I understand. Um, 
Cool. Yeah, I'll have it right up for you guys. You guys can just take a seat at your normal. I'll take food. a whole pot of coffee, uh, extra bacon, extra eggs, and so, put some protein powder on top. So the usual. And, the usual. Okay. Yes. And two. Yeah, pieces, you guys order the same thing every day. Two pieces of white toast. And so the usual. Yes. It's important for the routine. All right. Well, I'll have it out to you guys in a bit. Um, and Tia, I'll I'll let you know. But uh, Oscar's not here today. Oh. It's not working. Sorry. Guys, I've got some extra things that if we need to relax later. Are they dr- No, they're natural. Sword dr- So oh. they natural. basically have to choose a free beat or Yeah, so um as you guys Sorry, you guys settle in, you guys settle into your um you know, into your breakfast. Uh Tiffany comes by with a a plate of big pot of coffee. You've got your buttery sandwich, all your bacon. Everything that you ordered that I remember. Jay is ad-libbing all of this and is amazing. No notes. See you later. Cabs out like, all right, well guys, um, you might just add it to your tab. You want to settle up now? Oh no, tab it out, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, you know, we're good I'll for it. 12, 12 um, gold bucks to it. Um, uh, By the way, it's been like two weeks since you guys have paid. So you guys are up to like 140 like gold bucks, but like, you know, you know, the manager's really cool with you guys. So anytime that you guys want to settle up. Hey Tiffany, cool. I'll, I'll um, yeah, we can settle up today. That's fine. Okay, 140 gold bucks? Uh, Yeah, uh, I seem to have uh, come to some money, so yeah. Well, you, you don't need to worry about it right no, now. No, 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 no. You Tiffany, guys, listen, you're, you have a- I'm a man of my word, all right? You, you, I got you. you sm- well, you gotta do something with the evidence. I mean, mystery money. Well, I'm just saying like you guys smell like you had a rough night and you've <laughs> literally got just- Bat juice. A, a tattoo. Look, if Rundy69 wants to settle up the tab, I say- Nothing well, I would make me happy. All right, well, well, think about it, think about it. Enjoy your breakfast. I'll come back towards the end. And uh, yeah, so she goes back. There's a line of customers she's helping. It's like um, she really doesn't want me to pay her. Really? Well, take the money. Well, I say I we keep money, it. Yeah. Why is it so fucking hard? All right. So yeah, she comes back around after she after uh, the line's I, down. I hate to see her go, but I'd love to watch her leave. 100, 140. Hey, you're respectful of her. 140 gold show. bucks out of the party. Uh, How much was it? 140 gold bucks. All right. I, um, I'll give her I'll give her 170. I got to tip, tip Tiffany. Cool. Yeah, Tiffany's thrilled uh she goes all right and she like she get, tries to give you um a wet wipe and she's like there um but yeah as you guys leave, uh, walk away your tab settled you guys are kind of thinking about whether or not you want to go to the dirty jesters where you heard that they got robbed or your good buddy zephronicus his loft a uh, quick question in the bad part of town is that wet sure. wipe individually yeah. packaged or is it it's open a already? Sandy wipe. Is it already open? No. All right, then I'm gonna pocket that and keep it for later. Okay. You never know when you might need to clean something mysterious off of your body. You got a little. Oh. Uh, Smart. Adding that to my inventory. Smart. That's one. <laughs> wet wipe. Quite what am I one. <laughs> Ammunition. <laughs> it's a plus one wet wipe. Oh. Wipe. oh. I'll be so clean. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys going? I'd like to go to, we got food. I'd like to go to Zephronicus. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, man, that was really cool of you to sell that up. But like, you know, we've, we're definitely like, we didn't have like. Did you rob somebody? What? So, hey. look, is, should we not go to Jester's? <laughs> I mean, I, we've talked about not robbing people and robbing oh, people. Cool. Look, I've talked about not robbing people a lot, but yeah. like. But not rob people we know. Right. That's not cool. That's not right? what happened here, right? I just I, it was just really weird, man. We've been talking about how we were planning on not figuring out a way to pay that. Remember we talked about like opening that opening that that lemonade stand. Yeah, we talked no. about all that. Are you going to be able to make rent this month? Yeah. I bring out the bag. Jay, I'll let you start yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well. So, uh, full disclosure, I, care about. I, I have no idea how I got this money. Wait, what? How much oh. money? Enough. I put like, into the bag. Uh, you there want me are, to count it? There, are, no. Okay. I would like for you not to touch this bag of, of gold bucks. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, I would like to think that it is just uh, the universe. I'm revealing one of my mystery items. It's the 500 gold minus 140 plus tip. I hope I don't need that. I'm gonna talk about it again. Yeah. What do you remember from? Okay. <laughs> Bye, yeah, everybody. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. All right. Uh, good. I'd like to go to. Z- uh, are we all cool going to Zephronicus's? Well, now that we've got a bunch of money, yeah, we could buy some cool oh, shit. Yeah, let's buy some shit. Oh, Shopping montage. Feeling good, Jay? Feeling good? No. I There's know, nothing I, I would like more than to spend my rent money on drugs. 
Well, we did say we were never gonna talk. We did say we never gonna drink it. We did say we never gonna drink again. So natural. Hell yeah. Yeah, these have no side effects. I after the coffee and bacon, I feel fucking. Actually, can I? I, Do you want me to see if I feel fucking great? Con save. Con save. (laughs) Beat it to food poisoning. Beat a ten. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, you feel fat. I feel feel fucking great. Let's go. Okay. Um, Are are all of you like medium sized? Uh, I think I'm medium to small. Who still feels like shit? Uh, can I roll to see if I still feel like shit? Go, go for it, guys. The hangover rolls are coming out. I All feel, right, I feel great. I'm well above a ten. So we're on our way to Zephronicus's house. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a loft. loft. It's like a loft. Yeah, yeah. Well, Zephronicus's place. So, um, you guys start to get, start to walk. Um, I would like to be carried. <laughs> okay, you guys. I carry him. You guys are starting out and <gasps> on the shoulder. Um, it's 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 probably like that's a half orc. That's a twelve foot tower tower of people. Four or five blocks away, you have to go through a, a little bit of an industrial place where there's car yards and garages and warehouses, and you come around to this really shoddy warehouse where the big like you know bay do- bay doors are graffitied up. And you come to the one that you know where Zephronicus lives. And you give it a... Clang, clang, clang. <laughs> What's up, dudes? You hear over the intercom. Why don't you guys just come on in, bro? Just close the door behind you. He's always so happy. Uh, lift up the big door. Yeah. And inside, you find just like a, a pretty much empty warehouse almost where there's boxes, uh, wooden boxes of crates, you know, kind of moved around. There's a big concrete floor. It's kind of wide open where there's shuttered windows. And then um, upper in one corner is like where the office area used to be that Zephronicus has turned into his loft. So he just you kind of see him like come out onto like the railing and be like, <laughs> and what you see is a Dwarf man, um, you know, he's kind of has like this really relaxed, happy expression on his face. His beard is um, in dreadlocks with beads at the end. And his his hair, although balding, has some like nice dreadlocks coming off. And, you know, he's wearing like a, a tie dye shirt. Are you telling me this is a Rasta dwarf? <laughs> I'm a Rasta baby. <laughs> What's going on? Anyway, nothing like a white dude with dwarfs, right? I wanted to show you guys the stop. All right, hey, great to see you, Zaf. You happy as ever? Zerf, dude, you know that, Tion. <laughs> Anyways, totally. what did you guys get up to? Sorry, I couldn't make it to the fucking party last night. I don't know. Looks like I don't you guys know who came a, to the party at this point. Looks like you guys had a ton of fun. Dude. Uh, no, it was it was uh it. It was a party, I'm pretty sure. We don't really know. Yeah. I think it was just the four of us getting but, blacked hey, out. Hey, man, uh, don't, I know we don't have time for that. So uh, what, do you, what do you got going on? You, thanks. Hey, thanks thanks for leaving uh, us a note. Yeah, dude. Also, I, those you should cut those off, man. They just don't look right on you. Dude, no, nah, it's my fucking culture, bro. What do you mean? Yeah. Do it for the culture. Trim it up. Hey, you're being rude to our friend here. Yeah. Yeah, guys, what's going on? Tell? I just like to I offer. I put him off my shoulders. Offer no. advice. No, rides are for nice people. Ugh. Well, I mean, like, I could... Just helping his marketing. You guys mind if I light up an incense real quick? One of you guys smells like a tabaxi litter box, dude. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. Incense would be great. Anyway, so he's, like, he's like going over I'll to... I'll jump him in. He's, like, uh, like, a weird shrine with, like, conflicting ideology religious pieces that kind of don't make any sense together. But there's, like, beads, a lot of red, yellow, and green... And so I mean it's it's basically like a stoner temple and he just kind of lights up like a, a little little Buddha Buddha incense closes it up and goes all right all right oh, oh man so you know before we get into the you know the stuff I wanted to show you uh, why don't we chill a little bit what's going on with you guys oh, jeer about jesters dude yeah that's crazy yeah we written your note what happened what do you know dude Jonesy's is fucking Pissed. Yeah. You imagine he would be Jonesy. Jonesy? Yeah, um, of course. What about Jonesy Riley? Be pissed. What about Dude, Riley? How's he, Riley? He owns and operates Jesters. Wayne. You know Jonesy. Jo- yeah, Josie is who owns and operates uh Jesters, the Dirty Jesters, which is a bar. And it's spelled Jesters apostrophe S, 
as though there's something the jester owns or it's a typo and they put it on the front of the building. Ah. Anyway, Jonesy's is fucking Flavor. upset, but you know how Jonesy's is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> they can move on to the stuff if they don't want to. They can move on to the I stuff. I mean, no, I want to. Well, I mean, you got any, got any details? They have any like leads or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no. He doesn't. Oh, what what got stolen? Do we know what got what got stolen? Yeah, what did they take? I don't know, dude. I just heard heard the the fucking jesters got taken down, and Jonesy's is fucking flipping out, dude. Yeah, no, that sounds just like him. Yeah, sheesh. Oh, you guys want to see the stuff? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. Well, he just like he kind of leans back in his chair and kicks his his coffee table. That just kind of goes. Uh. And inside there is we blackout. All right, so you're gonna go to the event card that says blackout. Before you read it, roll three d six for me. That's that's gonna come into play later. And tell me what the number is. Uh, five. Oh, cool. Um, so, so Jay just needs a moment to read what that says there while I prep some stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have some cards to pass out, but you'll set the scene before I pass them out because there's information the players. So will. they just. Yep, just sort of like they'll have vague brownout memories. They start. You, they basically started a binge and are coming to in the apartment. You're back, kind of where you started. This so. Morning. The sun starts coming through the windows of your apartment as you guys start to wake We're up. We're not in the apartment. You oh, are. this is a memory? No, no. You're, you're back at the apartment. You guys, you guys wake up in the apartment. Player one, you can take this. Covered in beer cans, ah. covered in bottles. The smell of cigarettes clings in your air <laughs> as you guys start to wake up. And the first thoughts you guys have is, I'm never drinking again. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit! Something on the radio tells them. Does anyone many, have any cigarettes? How many days have passed? Huh? Does anyone have any cigarettes? Don't read this, but pass it out to the other players. Take your appropriate. Number. On the the TV that is a little bit too loud for this oh. early in the morning. At right before you start to turn it down, uh, the news is on, and you realize that it is five days later from when you went over to Zephyrnicus's house. What the shit? It is now. Wednesday. <gasps> Yo, it feels like Wednesday. Don't tell me it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. So after a blackout, it's discovered that the players have been partying for three D6 days. So however many freaking days they go at it, bruh. Wait, it's the number, the 69, the it's now 64. What they also find out is that the number on Rundy's forehead ticks down by the same amount of days. No, 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 is it just... Oh. It's five days of numbers. More math. 69 minus five is 64. Again, what does it say now? It's you lost 64. Cool points. It says 64. Wait, that's way less cool. It's like 30 finish, less finish numbers. Four. No, finish. Hold on. I take I take a Sharpie and I like. I call it that in. On. Um yeah, so your yeah. no, the way the way that your skin yeah. has like a yeah. the way that your skin has like an oily glisten to it, the number just like the the new added stuff just kind of like smudges immediately off and it, you just can't like quite get it to look right before you like kind of wipe it away and it still says 60. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 you trying to get it all off yeah. now? Yeah, is it coming off now? Nope. My notes say no matter how hard the players scrub, those numbers don't come off. Early 2000s. <laughs> oh. oh, well, this is a precursor. Nintendo. <laughs> I, I actually have, I, 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 wrote, I wrote down before, job, the, before the session started, I wrote down everything I can remember about the 2000s and N64 is one of those. Things. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Well, I, it's like it's like Nintendo 64, you know, like we have Nintendo 64 because right, it's look, the 2000s. Let's, let's get some food and then let's play some GoldenEye. <gasps> yes, again. All right, but listen, nobody can be odd job already. It's not even fair. <laughs> Can we do slappers only? Only slappers. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it till three. So <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany's at Tiffany's at the diner and goes, "Oh, hey guys, what's hey, going on?" Hey, <laughs> Tiff hey, hey Tiffany, Tiffany, how are you? I haven't seen you in a couple days, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. How you how you been? Can I get another butter sandwich? Yeah. yeah. Could you do the cut two pieces yeah. of the what? usuals? The two usuals. Pieces the of usuals. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two pieces of, of toast. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you get, and then uh, coffee and bacon. All the bacon. Yeah. Okay. Extra right. extra protein. 
Is, yeah. is Oscar around today? Uh, yeah, he's actually working. Oh, finally. Let's jump ahead to them deciding where to go. Just yeah, for time. Um, so <laughs> where do you guys want to go? Jesters. There, wait, there is. Wait, what's our what's our our bill? What's uh, today? Oh, you guys paid up the other day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Just checking. That's right. Uh, so what do we owe you? This uh, like twelve, right? No, it's it's you guys paid up the other day. You guys put like credit on your account. This is gold. It's it's, it's, it's like be, one gold, guys. You gave her a lot of money. <laughs> she's literally the worst cashier. That's why she's she our favorite. So you guys why we come back the restaurant. Here. It's not like I'm not going to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're ominous. You're great, Tiffany. Uh, it's never like, changed. <laughs> Better than ever. All right, bye. Um, so anyway, she she leaves breakfast. Where are you guys? Where do you guys plan to go next time? I want to go check out Jester's. What? See what's happening. Did any did did, did anyone care what happened last? I had notes on there being a lot of possible conversation items or conversations to go through if the players talked about their secret items, but of course they didn't. Okay, <laughs> wait. Before okay. we go anywhere, can we like discuss what the fuck is going on? So, hey, hang on. They're probably going here. Yeah, we're probably going there. We're but, probably gonna go there, right? Can we discuss? Can we discuss like what the fuck is going on? Mm. This has been a rough week just, of partying. But how has it? I, I think so. So I feel like I've been partying. I'm still pretty stocked. Never mind. Like, let's assume we don't want his forehead to get to zero. Huh? Sixty-nine minus one is. Just give me a minute. You mean boy? I can get it. Well, why would you oh, think it would shit, get to zero? Well, if it's counting down, because it, five days have passed, and we've taken five off of his forehead, mm -hmm. which means it seems like a countdown. We should spend a day playing GoldenEye and see if it changes to 60. Yeah, that's right. good science. Let's yeah. do that. Control or the control. we go to Chester's, because we were supposed um, to go there like last week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you could head to Chester's. Yeah. Cool. Um, so and then GoldenEye. And then, and then gold 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 gold. Oh, Okay, good. Perfect. So um, after you guys leave the cafe where now that's what I call music, volume two is just shredding out the dirtiest <laughs> songs of the, oh, the year. I, I leave my number on a napkin for Tiffany. I mean, the, she, she knows knows we don't have phones yet, so I don't know she what knows I wrote down. Where you, live. Yeah, you have landlines, you don't have cell phones. Okay. The cell phone was invented in 2019 by Henry Ford. Uh, you head to Jim, uh, Jester's, which is a... Like Hinder a bar, is playing. tattoo shop, curio store. It's like a, it's just a really weird, like oddball space um, in the dirty part of town. Um, it's like a bodega on steroids. Yeah, it's like a bodega on steroids right next to a laundromat. And then like, there's like a live music venue that happens in the laundromat after hours. So why don't you guys like go in a couple like minutes ahead of me and like find out if I should not go in what? and then like, because you maybe because I still don't know where this really, money came from. Do you really from. think you, you do? You think you did? I it? don't think that's anything that I'd ever like do. But I mean, maybe it's what I do. You know, it's dark, man. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark in here. Uh huh. And it's going down. It's going God, down. Jay, you, hey, you got, know what, man? You got, hey, remember this. You're not a heel. You're a baby face. Okay. <laughs> I'm the fucking good guy. You're the fucking good guy. Okay. But maybe so, you but, stole. But maybe you but stole. Maybe I. Maybe I have like. A bad trip or something. I don't know. You're right, dude. That's. I'll go in first. Yeah, that's true. I'll check it out. I'll go yeah. talk to Joe. I'll go talk to Jonesy. I know what happened, man. And we'll go say say what up, and we'll just hey. All yeah. right. If if we like wave to you, yeah. Then it's either like we're in trouble or like everything's cool. Okay. All right, so great. that's it. Cool. Yo, I'm gonna stand over with the tall skinny guy and the dude with the backwards head that doesn't say anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All okay. Right, cool. 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 I know yeah. those guys. Good yeah, guys. Good, Joe good and guys. Silent Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with them. <laughs> Kevin Smith was a filmmaker from the 1800s. So you guys open the door to Jester's and it's, you know, just black and like dimly lit in there. And from the back, you hear somebody just absolutely shouting at staff. You know what? I'm tired of you guys. You know, this is, this is, it's bullshit. It's bullshit that I have to put up with this. You, you, I pay you to be security and I get fucking robbed. This is Mm, I haven't been this pissed since my mom told me I couldn't go out in, you know, when I was in eighth grade. This sucks, dude. Absolutely sucks. You hear the voice of Jonesy as he berates his staff uh, for the fifth day in a row after being robbed. We do know Jonesy. Yeah, you know Jonesy. This is a place that you guys come to a lot. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a scungy bar and you guys are a scungy Sounds group. Sounds good. So, you know, you come here to scunge it up. 
with the scunja. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We and uh, so Josie sees you guys and he goes, get the fuck out of my face, Whoa. dude. Whoa. No, no, he, to his staff, as you guys kind of walk up, and he goes, oh, sorry, boys. Didn't mean for you to see the inside baseball of what's going on in here. Somebody fucking robbed me the other day. They took 500 gold out. Fuck. And he even took my me. fucking black Sharpie. I used to color that in with my nails, dude. What am I gonna do? Dude, uh, your nails look good though. They're you you look and there's just like there's they're black with like Sharpie, but there's like a little bit of growth of six days underneath. So he's like he's like they're not connecting though. You're right, no, they're everybody look that awful. sees me in the show is gonna be fucking no I'm a poser, dude. Maybe you could wear gloves tonight. All my gloves don't have fingers. <laughs> Why don't, why don't you just buy a new Sharpie? Flam fucking dunk you too. It's It was a good Sharpie. You know what? Fucking Carlotta told me this would happen, dude. She fucking knows everything before it happens. It's fucking wild. Carlotta? Oh. Yeah, dude. It's Carlotta, dude. She's like the fortune teller at the mall. So you can flip that over as a free beat. No. On, uh, it's, it should be the third card. And you can flip back over Dirty Jesters. This is just really for your reference. Cool, cool, cool. Carlotta, she, you know, she just knows everything. Dude, I used to go to know if I was going to have a good show or not. Do you, do you I have hate any, my mom. Do you have any she idea of maybe? Door and, like, starts to riff a couple chords. Who, who, do we, who could we, can we help? Do you have any idea who did it? What they look like? Carlotta doesn't know? Dude, she, she like knows big picture stuff and not like details dude yeah yeah you don't either i mean i was fucking jamming out mm -hmm. all i know is i was jamming out we were killing it with with garage band blues the song that we are going definitely going to send to the radio mm -hmm. and all i know is that i get off stage the register's blown wide open 500 gold bucks is gone and my good sharpie along with it He's outside, right? You're yeah. outside. Mm -hmm. And you have no idea anybody that did you see anybody different? Who who? I was rocking out on stage, dude. Fun fact: guilty people often reinsert themselves into the crime scene later. Huh. Yeah, you. I was sitting there like, my dad sucks. My stepdad's worse. Love that, love that lick, man. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and signal to Rundy six four that he's free to come in. Yeah, I mean like, what's the name of your uh, band again? Simple Plot. In the 2000s, bands used to actually have names instead of random letters and numbers used to distinguish themselves from each other. 99 red colognes, dude. <laughs> um, any, yeah, frankly, why are you asking me all these questions, man? Well, I'm just. Were I'm, you at the show, dude? We had a rager that night. Yeah, no, we weren't. We weren't around. We don't. I mean, we we gave you an invitation, man. And we know that you uh, couldn't go because of that. So, but yeah, we threw that party, and we didn't see anybody. We thought they were all at your concert. So he kind of like wipes his like long greasy hair back yeah. and kind of gives you like a look of suspicion and be like, "All right, uh, they could, they could probably pick where they're going from here." I think we this is run dry. Yeah, I mean, all right. Well, I mean, if you guys didn't hear anything. Definitely let me know. You know we're on it. You need anything? 500 gold bucks and my good fucking Sharpie back. I mean, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. If you find out who took my shit, keep the gold. I want my fucking Sharpie back, dude, so I can properly get these nails done. Hell yeah. Find the Sharpie, keep the money. Find the Sharpie, keep the money. This is a tagline waiting to be developed. Uh, maybe do some marketing posters for you. I would hate if you did that. Got it. We're I'm so on underground. It. I'm on it. Don't don't do that. No, we got. I'm you. telling you, stop winking. Anyway, so this wraps up. <laughs> he kicks you out. Seriously, guys, don't do any marketing for me. We're underground. Um, and uh, so yeah, where are you guys going? As we go outside, and we're all kind of standing there, I'm just gonna be like, so I found a sharpie the other day, but I don't know where it came from. I don't remember using it. I just. Here's a Sharpie that I didn't have that I now have. Bro. Maybe we can give this Sharpie to him. I don't know if it's his Sharpie. That seems like he might get mad though. On a related note, how much money did we have? Hey baby, you ever seen a bugbear eat a bat? <laughs> Are you saying that to somebody? Yeah, it's a Jay and Silent Bob throwback. Oh, oh, sorry. I meant Joe and Silent Rob. Ha. 
I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm, I'm reading. Uh, <laughs> end of, end of perfect. I, I'm trying to read the campaign as, as it's happening. As we as we come back out, just like, hey, leave her alone, man. Sorry. No. Uh, hey. Excuse me. Fill in with a bed, Chris. Uh, yeah, excuse, excuse me, gentlemen. Could I speak with you for a second? Um, a policeman with a very press suit um, badge goes, excuse me, ma'am. Are these uh, gentlemen bothering you? I'm hiding. He starts kind of swinging a billy club around. Am I being detained? Uh, well, we're just asking you a couple questions. Uh, is you know, why don't you settle down, brother? Oh, I know my rights. Three other policemen yeah. circle them. We're entering combat. We're seeing if Jay can do combat off the top of his head. We're gonna fight the police sight unseen. Uh, Love it. I haven't had a good scrap in days. Uh, we think. So I probably maybe. <laughs> I'm pitching this all as theater of the mind. So if you want to stay a certain distance away from enemies, just kind of describe that and we'll let Jay oh, yeah. do it. Can we roll initiative? Yeah, go for, for it. For the love of God. Um, yeah, so initiative, as the, the cops kind of circle around and goes, goes, guys, get them. They didn't immediately treat me with respect. We're gonna beat them up. Three tall elven guys, they're all kind of wearing that tight, they all have a billy club, and they immediately descend on you, kind of swallowing the party up. Um, initiative, go. Run to get a 14. 12 for Taint. 19 for Feklu. Five. Five, okay. I rolled a one. Perfect. So at the top of the round, um, Fuck you. You, you see, or fuck you, you see two uniformed police officers. They're re ready to rear back and just absolutely just tear into you boys. Um, you have, you kind of get the jump. What's your first to go to? Uh, I immediately turn to a uh, mountain goat ram and they're coming in with a fist. Okay. And I just, I uh, use a bonus action to turn to a ram. And as I'm leaping forward towards them, Animorphs style. Okay. Animorphs was a scented body wash on the air from 1996 to 2003. Yeah, so I mean, so you I just kind of like lean in, no, please, take a step, and back. like as you as you change into a billy goat, you're just full extension and just slam into one. Go for it. 17, let's say plus three to hit, uh, dirty 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you definitely hit, you definitely hit him. Six points of damage. Okay. For flavor, that's my turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was the flavor? For flavor, I'm done. The the first the first officer is gonna he's gonna take a big a big lump to the chest with you know your horns. It's gonna knock the breath out of him, but he is gonna try to grapple you. Grab uh, the goat by the yeah, horns. Grab the goat by the horns. So he's going to first to hit off. <laughs> um that was a single digit, is what I saw there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seven to hit you? Uh, seven does not hit. Well, yes, he's going to miss for sure. But his second guy is going to be attacking recklessly because he's a police officer. And he's going to swipe at you. Um, yeah, this one's going to be 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. Okay. Uh, Can I have a con save, the target, the target takes five points of additional damage because I moved in on it. Okay. Can the first one that I hit uh, to do a DC 13 strength throw and I'll do the con save? Uh, we'll just consider his, like he, his missed attack is like you just like, he couldn't quite backwards. grab you. Yeah, cool. he couldn't quite grab and you. And then a uh, 10 on my con save. Okay, so not only does this guy hit you with his billy club, just like absolutely just turning his weight in there. He gets you with seven or uh, five damage five and damage. you are stunned as he just like absolutely jaws you. Even <laughs> though you're a billy goat that is like preventing shock, you're not, you're, the shock's supposed to be forward, not to the side as he yeah. you know stuns you. Great. Um, you're stunned for one round. Rundy, you're up. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> is there any, uh, Let's see who just hit my boy there. Uh, yeah, so he's got he's got two guys um, kind of gripping on him. He hit one in the chest, and the other guy swatted. The other guy's kind of flanking around to you know, the back side of your party. All right, so I'm going to take out uh, one of the the coppers that's there with my goat friend. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to roll to attack here, and then glasses off, boy. It's time because I can't read my sheet with this on. Uh, these aren't actually prescription. I don't need them to see. They're just really cool. Uh, all right. So, uh, was this the guy? I'm going to attack the guy that attacked recklessly because that was bad. That is uh, five on the dice, which becomes uh, 13. 13 meets beats? Yes. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my trip attack, and they have to make a DC 15 strength save or be knocked prone. Yeah, he is prone. Dope. 13 damage and he's prone. 
Okay. Now, because I have the Tavern Brawler feat, I can make a bonus action grapple attack while he is on the ground. Okay. So, oh, shit. Uh, that's a two on the dice, so it's a nine. Yeah, even though you just absolutely just, like, cleave this man, he still is able to kind of use his, his officer training and kind of sl- slip that grab ice on the floor. All right, then I'm going to... How's he look? He's pretty fucked up. Then we're going to action surge. All right. Seems like a good idea. All right. This guy's prone, so I got advantage on the attack. I'm going to try and hit him. 16 on the dice. That's yeah, hits. Definitely hit. Or 10 more damage. Oh, yeah. I mean, immediately just goes, oh, as you just <laughs> knock the one. What's your weapon? These you, are oh, re- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The These are registered <laughs> weapons. <laughs> I need my fist love and war with with two R's. The second R is for Rundy. And so you just like immediately just and he's like choking on him, his own like blood. That's as great. he just like is like sitting there on the floor seizing a little bit. Don't ever hit my little friend. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. That's my turn. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Tiante, right? Tiaint. Tiaint. Talk about my mother that way. Um, <laughs> Tiante is my mother. Mister <laughs> Aint is my dad. I'm just Taint. Uh, so. Uh, apologies for not knowing if uh, who should I attack next, but I want to. I'm, I'm so I'm gonna well, pull so, out my bow. So, so you, the the front front runners, which would be uh, Feklu and Rundy, have kind of taken on two of two officers. There are there is one more officer that is like has like kind of flanked around to Zudes and and you um, as he kind of like is like coming in with his billy club as well. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm gonna pull my bow out and I'm gonna uh, loose an arrow on that. Dude, shots so fired. Thirteen to hit. Thirteen to hit. Um, yeah, hits him. Uh, beautiful. Uh, as a gloom stalker, I'm gonna add some bonus. I'm gonna put another arrow in there, which will do uh, 13, 14 points of damage to that uh, officer. Uh, anyway, I mean, he two 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 shots as he goes. Oh, shots fired. Officer down. Uh, and as he's saying that, I'm just gonna bonus action hide. Roll that stealth check. Where are you hiding? In uh, anywhere there's a little bit of shadow or darkness. Because uh, you're using, a gloom sucker, you do cool it, stuff. Got yeah. it. Um, yeah, you roll me a stealth check. It's uh, 25. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's that officer's turn. And he, what he's going to do, he's going to grab his radio. He's going to back kind of out since you didn't really engage with him. He's going to back out and go, shots fired, officer down. We need backup right outside of Chester's. That's his turn. He's going to call in backup. Stupidest thing a man ever done. That's right. We're going to fight the whole force. I'm hiding, though. Yeah. As I'm hiding. Yeah. Um, which brings us to you, Suits. Uh, right. So there's one cop down. One cop's down. One's engaged with him. And then one just called for backup. And he has two arrows sticking out of his chest. And one that just got shot. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. And then take his radio and say, cancel backup. <laughs> All clear here. Wait, just, just kidding. <laughs> Everything under control. Situation normal. It's a Star Trek reference. <laughs> There's no way they responded that fast in a shitty neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. We are not in the suburbs. Uh-huh. Did you know that in the early 2000s, there actually was a housing market? Yeah, this is Scrum Town, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on that guy. Uh, does a 29 hit? <laughs> it certainly does. Okay. How do you want to do it? Do that one? Uh, because he has one health point, and you just destroyed his. Shot AC. through the arrow, or shot through the radio. <laughs> yeah, shot so, through so the as he's, as he's oh. talking through, it, oh, falls for falls straight forward. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Oh, um, you just you murdered that man. Uh, oh, brother. Wait, no, that's not mine. Also, move to somewhere and try and hide. That's not right next to him. There's a dumpster. Uh, okay. Hide behind the dumpster. Yeah. Uh, Self roll. Ten. 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 Top of the round. Wow! Wow! You hear the sound of police cruisers rapidly approaching. They are maybe a block away. They are getting in fast. You hear squealing tires as they take a corner really fast. Um, you know that you're about to uh, have some company. Top of the round, Feklu. Um, I just go. Uh, as a goat, and I go galloping off. Hopefully, you understand that means I'm gonna get boogieing. Okay, so you're running? Escape would be good. Sure. Okay. 
so yeah, uh, you kind of disengage from that guy. He's he's not really chasing you. He's kind of looking at his two fallen comrades, and he start he gra- kind of grabs his radio to relay information. I would like to knock him down on my way through. I'm going to use an action. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. So Sorry. I'm going to move uh, towards the target and ram attack it. Oh, plus five, 14 to hit. Yeah, hits. He also has to make a strength save. Okay, why don't you roll me that damage first? Non-lethal. Um, Non-lethal? Six. This one? You guys know even if you kill them, please carry Pulp Fiction Revive if I need yeah, needles. Yeah. I you mean, aren't committing murder. Damn. Yeah. And they're kind of like Batman in the fact that he doesn't kill people, but he just leaves them broken bones, organ damage, internal bleeding. Yeah, they're probably fine. <laughs> Cerebral hematoma. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a sick band name, dude. 11. 11, and they need to make a strength save. Yeah, they, I mean, he just immediately, he goes to kind of grab, and boom, <laughs> hits by a goat in the head. <laughs> and then you kind of take off and look at oh, the legs. other ones. Um, anybody, that, so you're out of combat right now, but you have speeding cop cars coming to you. Are you guys, what are you guys doing? I'm going to grab him. And I'm gonna say, listen, I need you to call an all clear right fucking now. He yes. is unconscious. He's <laughs> kind of he's kind of dangling a little bit. Oh, good. Well, then I'm gonna use his radio uh, with my amazing deception here of plus three. Um. Okay. I'm I'm gonna need first roll needs to be a performance, and then it's deception as you try to not sound like shit, yeah, Rundy. I am proficient in both of these things. <laughs> wow, of course. Of course you are. <laughs> it's a performer. With my, with my performance. Oh, boy. Let's see it. Yeah, boy. No. That's a net 20. <laughs> okay. Yes. So you put on your best cop voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> and? Uh, yeah, that's an all clear here. No, nothing to see here. Just uh, a couple of, couple of punks. We chased them off. Uh, slight uh, weapons malfunction. Everything's perfectly fine. That's a line from Ellie McBeal. All right, everybody. Okay. We're on the reception roll. <sighs> would that, be a, would that amazing poop, performance give me advantage? Uh, it it definitely severely lowered the DC. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <sighs> be Nate. Fire! Is that in that one? No. You said beat an eight? Yeah. It's a seven. Okay. Um. All right. Well, before... Uh, you you, you kind of hear on the ra- the dis- dispatch goes, uh, ten forty four. Uh, we'll read you lo- loud and clear. We'll we'll stop code three and we'll just send one unit to get, kind of back you guys up. They would almost certainly, if they do escape, want to go to the apartment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you guys have about a couple of seconds as you hear the still one one police car pretty close. Uh, you guys still have the kind of chance to bug out if you want. Oh yeah, we're gonna cheese it. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Cheese it. Under the event, there's something called apartment chill. That is what you're pulling up. Cool. So you guys make it to the apartment. It is still gross and stinky in here um, because you guys don't clean very often because you guys black out a lot. So gold night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, you 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 went to investigate. You went to investigate Jester's. You know that he got robbed. Feklu was like acting real suspicious. So you know, Gen Z is like, this guy, something's up. Um, you didn't even go in, nope. so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got into a fight with the, the cops, so I mean, you really just kind of need to- two police officers. You really need to kind I of- I knocked one unconscious. What do you guys have going on, you know, just to kind of like recharge and relax? Garbage bag, picking up cans, that, that smell and that sound of aluminum against aluminum against aluminum, dragging the bag. Well, somebody wrote me a 3D6. As you guys display, explain that, T ain't. What do you got going on? I'd like to roll a uh, homemade cigarette with my left hand and start up the Nintendo sixty four. Yeah, I mean, you guys are playing Goldeneye. I okay. mean, it was you guys already talked about it. Um, and I'm also looking for a new game called Wario Kart. Mario Kart. Mario Kart was a four day touring music festival that started in 1991 by the Blue Shells. Ban the golden gun because the golden gun's cheap. A- anything special you guys are doing before you guys get get smoking, drinking, and playing? Uh... Um, yeah, did we actually buy any um, drugs? Don't do drugs. I mean, unless you're in California, Colorado, Massachusetts. Yeah, for sure. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Which puts us into the as the room fills up with haze. What was that roll? 
Oh, a uh, nine. A total of nine? The sun starts to come through the windows of your apartment as you guys wake up. The room is hazy. The room is hazy. It smells bad. There's cans and bottles everywhere. As the news is on a little bit too loud, after you turned off the N64, it comes back on to channel three, which everybody knows is public access. And you guys left it on. And it is now nine days later. Ah. I'm going to run over and check his forehead. It is Friday the next week. His forehead says 55. Oh, guys, it's going up. <laughs> nah, we <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh, my head says 55. Oh, we can each fly. And, and so from here, they pick a free beat. Yeah, I mean, so all you guys have left to do, I mean, the what you guys have going on is you wake up nine days later after a Mario after a Mario Kart and uh, is it fair to say we have a long rest? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're long rest. Oh, I'm never playing Mario Kart again. (laughs) Um, (laughs) While they talk, I'll let you preview uh, what the next free free beat is, which is probably where they're I mean, what you guys have on the agenda is to go check out the mall fortune teller whose name was Carlotta. That's the information that they have. And so this is- At the mall. Jay may need uh, 30 seconds to read a little bit, so you guys can cu- sort of Roll discuss play a little what bit. Yeah. Ready? All right. As you, if you guys want to go to the cafe and get breakfast, <laughs> yeah, right, you, go you can go down there and talk. We, yeah. We're hungry, I think. I, I bet think Tiffany's there. Look, Tiffany's not there. It's her day off. Zerv, he gave us some really strong stuff, and I'm like really thirsty. I could go for like an Orange Julius. Orange Julius is named for Julius Caesar after he started getting spray tans. Oh, the Annie's. Oh my God, I could really get some Annie's and Julius Orange Julius. Now that you've said it, I have to go. Uh. And then we'll go to the great, uh, whatever the country is, cookie company and get what are those like cookies with the frosting in the middle? Oh. And Tiffany's not working anyway, so we could skip the diner, go straight there. All good, Jay? You, you, guys, you guys know that there is like a juice stand in the mall. There's like a food court. I mean, tattoo shop, low, like low magic items, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a safe bet if you guys wanted to eat there on your way, it's easy town. Malls I could definitely juice up. Malls have not turned into Serbia. They still yeah. exist in the malls early 2000s. Malls are still real. I mean, it is the early 2000s, so. Malls are banging, I bet. Indoor malls were a public town space and the seat of any town governance uh, from 1982 to 2007. Yeah, uh, let's try and park by the Sears. Yeah, it's the best yeah, entrance because you can I see all the. Wars, even though I don't have a lawn. They yeah. do the sprays when you go in. I like the way it makes me smell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's, agree, that's yeah. literally the only shower any of us get is when we walk through the Sears. Go to the mall. Sears. Yo, I need to get uh, some creatine powder from the uh, ANC. <laughs> so let's get him to the mall just to just get there. Yeah. Active Nutrition Company. Yeah. yeah love okay, it. yeah. So at the mall, uh, you, guys have, you guys have your drinks. Yeah. You guys have, you know, whatever you guys needed. You stopped in, got some mall items, whatever. You see at the end of kind of like a more, m- m- like not really like the front of the mall, like Dillard's, you don't see like the Belks. This is like an offshoot that has like the less known stores. There's like a Spencer's Gifts or a Sponker's <laughs> Gifts. Um, and Sponker's then at the, at, at the end, uh, kind of towards a fire exit, you see Fortunes by Jelfry. Oh, next to the Sbarro. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Giant pizza. Your tepid topic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is a topic. <laughs> I would like to walk through the food court line because there's occasionally people giving out free samples uh, to the Yeah, I'll do teller. a lap with yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you guys got your free samples. You, you've chicken. already you've already eaten. You've you're finding this fortune teller, and you see you see at the end of one hallway, um, fortunes by Jelfry. Is that where, that's got to be where Carlotta is? Yeah, probably. There's a directory and a map. It's the only fortune teller yeah, place yeah. in the mall. Yeah. Uh, this mall's really fallen off. There used to be four fortune tellers here. And you know, <laughs> so now she's just, got a monopoly on the whole yeah, she's future. Really, she's really cornered the whole future. She's either the best or the worst. You know what I mean? Only she can tell you. <laughs> Hopefully for less than five gold bucks, uh, though. Are you looking ahead to the event? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Is that the orange Julius? <laughs> it's already gone. <laughs> so Those samples don't last. You guys, you guys coming to the shop? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So um, it's, you know, kind of red, like mystical. There's like tapestries kind of, you know, there's like, there's like a hazy um, incense smell. There's beads, bead curtains, and there's pillows all around. And you see kind of a, like a elf lady as she, she's kind of like looking up and she goes, Oh, hello. 
Oh, customers! <laughs> what are you doing in my shop? <sighs> this voice is an inside joke for another campaign. <laughs> Man. <laughs> my name is Jelvrin. Do you want to read me to read your fortune? Could you do like free samples? No, you have to pay for my services. Oh, what are your services? Like you, you pay for my things. Well, Carlotta <laughs> usually does a free sample for no, us. No, she does she... not. I am her boss. My name is on the store. Is Carlotta in? Oh, uh, do you? Do you want me to read your fortune? Fortune first, answer second. Shouldn't Isn't the fortune be the answers? Maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> oh. uh, how, how no much more. Is, how much I am mysterious and outlandish. Well, I believe in this. How, uh, how... You pay me, I teach your fortune. That's fine, how much? Just please stop moving. I was told not to tell them how much money it was. <laughs> My give me your coins! <laughs> Slap down money and give you a fortune. Uh, I put down four gold. Yeah. Four gold? Okay. We do the fortune now. <laughs> give me your hand. Okay. So she passes out a tarot card. Oh yeah, so she gets, she gets tarot card and she goes, your hands smell like beer. Okay, pick card out of tarot deck, please. Everyone pick one. Four gold, four fortunes. I, oh, that's appropriate. Yeah, I yeah, pick that's one. Good, good. Four good. gold right. bucks. Right. Um, I need a d20 roll for everybody. And if there's a duplicate roll again. Yeah, yeah. We'll go to you first, Zudis. Oh no, you got the hermit. This means you have sunken back into yourself. You are not outgoing. You lose one charisma point. Give me your stats. This is not good. You should come out of your shell more. Crack open my pistachio. I have regrets. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, take one, 14, take one off. 14 is yours? Yes. You pull the tower. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Your life is going to see big upheaval. Your highest stat point and your lowest stat point switch places. It's the duality <laughs> of man. <laughs> hey, game over. Uh, hold. The tower is crazy. <laughs> you, can, you, you can climb it or you can go down. Um, can you tell me what happens to you? Yeah, these uh, downsides are really not equiminable here. Were you an English major? I am uh, much smarter than I seem. You're nothing good? You had a dump stat, real bad. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Erwin R. Scheister was a wrestler too. So I imagine strength is your highest. It was. What was your lowest? Wisdom? Was it five? I remember five. Wisdom was six. My wisdom's a six. That's pretty dang low. Why did you pick a stat oh, that no. low? Oh no, you're weak now. Okay, who's next? You, you're all 16. You get the moon. Well, oh my goodness. You, Maybe now you're Shawn Michaels. You get the moon. You shine in the light. Oh, the you transform at night and you, get, you have the power to pull in the tides. You get one charisma point. One plus one you charisma. get you get the hermit's extra one. Okay, who's next? Oh, that's right, it's you. What you roll the twenty? Oh no, you pull the devil. There is darkness in you. You are looking very slippery. Oh no. Look at the card. You see the scales on it? You see how it's longer than the other ones? As she's kind of de describing this to you, you look as the devil on the card kind of like has a snake tail and you see it kind of move. It just kind of reaches out and bites you on the uh, wrist. And you, yeah, as you drop the card, it kind of evaporates into smoke. Um, you take two poison damage. Oh no, you rolled the devil. That's not good for you. I need some Bactine or Neosporin or Polysporin, the middle of the two. <laughs> Thank you for reading fortunes from me. Um, I, uh, I hate you. Do you know where, hey, this is wonderful. Do you know where Carlotta is? My head is completely hidden by the mic. Great job, producer. 
can try to undo some of this. <clears throat> yes. Um. Starting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I, the most I, important. Just, <laughs> I, I try to shove you back, but I can't. Like, There's no refunds on yeah, I'll pick him up. I'll, 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 I want to pick Rundy up so he can so you can see him better. <clears throat> Oh shit! I guess this changes all my stats. Uh, um, can I roll? I now really good insight on her. Yes, yeah. go for it. Look into my soul. Uh, Seventeen. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as she's putting on this very good show, her showmanship and performance is really you know out there and extravagant. It makes people kind of draw people in. She basically has no idea what she's doing. Um, that's what you, the vibe that you get. There's no response on Fords. What was her name again? Jelfrey. Jelfrey? All right. Uh, um, uh, Jelfrey, uh, pardon me, but uh, it says here on your fine print that I'm finally able to read now that my perception is incredibly good, uh, that there are always refunds if your uh, fortune uh, is detrimental to the rest of your life, which it seems that... <laughs> Seems that very much this one is, so I'm gonna need that back there. Oh, fine. She just like drops it completely. She goes, oh, whatever. I mean, you know, people come in here for a little bit of excitement and it like change their life. No, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, I get that, I get that. It's just that uh, I need to. Uh... She just kind of waves her hands and everything gets reverted. Everybody's oh. stats go oh, back in. Well, so yeah. I have a note. Hey. The snake, time rewinds, the snake reappears, bites taint again. Does another one d four, but then sucks back into the car. Okay, yeah, yeah. But everyone so else, you, is, you, you've taken four damage. Everyone ah. else is reversed. Um, <laughs> but you know what? You can, you can keep the four gold as like a thank you. Yeah, for... there's no refunds. It says that oh. all fortunes are not permanent. But what if the mall police learned that you've just practically <laughs> killed me with your hey, with hey, your? Shut let's up, not talk about. Maybe police. we go back to the way it was. And yeah, maybe you maybe shut they, up. We're fine. Yeah, Jeffrey can do can reinstitute it all if she wants to. Yeah, I can just, and the snake can just keep coming back and forth. <laughs> ah, I am. God. You know magic. what? No, never mind. Never mind. You're the worst shop in this mall. We yeah, need another whatever. fortune teller. You're the worst customers I've had. Anyway, Let's go to KB Toys. Why are you guys here? <laughs> JB Toys. Why are we here? Why are you guys here? We're looking for Carlotta. <sighs> she doesn't work today. When does she work? They might be talking about her grandmother. I mean, it could be. Are you talking about Gina? Yeah, we yeah. were supposed to. We, we have a thing. Gina for her. Carly. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't do this anymore. She's like the person they're looking for is named Big Pooter. <laughs> it's called what? Big Pooter. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, you just have to go find Big Pooter. He works at the climbing wall gym, and he can tell them in where, the mall. He can tell Bro, them where dude. she is. Not in the mall. Not it's in the mall. near the mall. Near the mall. Oh, the climbing gym. Yeah, no. I, oh, the I, one near the mall. Yeah, no. And, I and he can tell time. them where you use this to. person is. Well, I can. I can tell oh, you. She can, he can tell you where you Grandma Carly is. No, we, yeah, big big Pooter knows where Carly is. She, she he, big Pooter knows who your grandma is. <laughs> yeah. How, how will we know it's big Pooter? You'll know. You'll know. That's Everybody awesome. knows who big Pooter is once you see him. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Hmm. And unless you're gonna like give me more money get out of my store do you want me to help get people in here i could do marketing right, i don't want you. you to do marketing oh, at all. by oh. the way there's this excellent band it's called simple plot and they are playing you haven't even heard of them yet um and they want everybody they talk about hey, how much their dad hates the them? natural deodorant that doesn't really work but costs twice as much she yeah. kind of does like a like oh, whatever <laughs> Our, and just kind of waves as it feels like the space warping around the store hold on. Kinda, like <laughs> tunnels out as she seems like way farther and like when your senses kick back in you are outside of the shore the door is shut and there's a closed sign on it i just wanted to buy some deodorant i was about to see if she had any good ones <laughs> I was really gonna all help, of her help get stuff. her business up. Why is everyone so averse oh, to be so giving them money? <laughs> How do you still? How much money do you have? Enough. And they have steps. So, like, was it maybe asked, like five? Because, you know, hundred. There's exactly. about five hundred missing. Well, it would be four. Uh, and I'm wondering. Twenty now, or. Uh, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying what? that 500 is missing and you have 500. <laughs> oh boy, that's pretty nice. sus. You guys here, as you guys are arguing. Um, in this kind of like less traveled area of the mall. They're in a less traveled area of the mall. You know, like 
a Dillard's or something. You Are hear old ladies power walking? No. You, well, it's kind of, it's le not very traveled, um, but you do hear a, uh, 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 like a, the sound of like a, a horn. Like a, like a clown, like a clown horn. horn. Like one of those trains that are driving around the world that almost run you down? Or one of the, the bandit scooters? Uh, no, you Rascal hear scooters. and you see something hiding behind a plant. A Why painted a, a painted face with orange hair and a big red nose <gasps> goes, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Ah! If you're afraid, you should be. As like you know, you know how malls are set up. What? In the middle, oh, there's yeah, like a yeah. big oh, potted plant, then like a sign, and like a little bit closer, another painted face comes out and goes. <laughs> <laughs> With a 17 passive perception, could I tell if that's the same painted face or a different painted face? It's different, huh? Two. And then behind you, you hear a, like another leather like woo, woo, clown noise. I don't know. Oh, a penny whistle. Yeah, a slide whistle. <laughs> and you turn around, and there's a clown with big shoes, Ding, colored clothes. clothes. I, I need feel everybody, compelled to draw my I need, bow. I need everybody to roll initiative as you guys are swamped with clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's fun for Jay. I think everyone else is having fun. I don't know if Jay is just internally screaming the whole I, time. There's a lot of internally screaming, but because I have no idea what's happening, it kind of is fun to role play. Where as you guys are pulling initiative, the guy behind you is a is a clown with a green nose, and he's a tiny little goblin man that is dressed up in colorful clothes, big shoes, and he goes, <laughs> and you guys out from underneath all their hiding places, Three other clowns come up, one with a red nose, one with a blue nose, and one with a green nose. At the start of the round, Zoods, you get the jump on these clowns as you are capable of having first action. You guys are boxed in. You're right up to the wall of the closed shop door, and cornering you are each of these clowns. How far away are they? I would say the closest one to you is probably 15 feet away. At the other end of the square, he's probably 30 feet away. So the one is 15 feet on like one side and then the other is yeah, like 30 feet. exactly. Away. Cool, so I have a thing. Uh, as a bonus action, you can magically teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. So I'm gonna go 15 feet on the other side of that clown. Okay, yeah, boom. Uh, that was my bonus action. Then I'm gonna shoot it. 23. 23 to hit. to hit. Yeah, absolutely, hits him. I believe that'll do it. Once so you, you teleported behind green nose. Okay, behind green nose, I'll remember that. Five, nine. Nine points of damage? Nine points of damn. Yeah, he t takes it in the bag and goes <laughs> And then I'm gonna And go smiles ahead and at you with big cricket teeth. Take another, uh, like, 15 feet and yeah, just go <laughs> And just back the fuck away from creepy <laughs> clowns. <laughs> um, cool, yeah, so is that uh, turn? No, I'm gonna go all 30. Okay, yeah, so, you, so you're about 45 feet away from him? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, Fuckers. now it is Rundy, your turn. All right, so, <laughs> well, that's terrifying. So I'm gonna activate my Eldritch Claw tattoo, which I'm guessing is the 55. And uh, yeah, all right, sweet. It, I mean, it's 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 definitely part of it, like where your tat other tattoos light up. For some reason, this is lighting up as well. All right, so for one minute, I get, uh, I can reach a target up to 15 feet away with my inky tendrils. Uh, and so the one that is creepy laughing, I'm gonna attack him. Okay, you you probably have to move about ten feet over, um, just to kind of get in range. Fine with that. Cool. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, it hits him. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Yep. Yeah, the green one just immediately gets clawed in half. He goes. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna. And this kind of crumples into a like a colorful pile of clothes, and then a little confetti goes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no more body. Nope. Am I close enough to hit anyone else in fifteen feet? Probably hit with the blue one, who is also kind of catty cornered over there. Oh, hell yeah. All right, then I'm gonna pick up a sandwich board as I go, and I'm gonna action surge. Okay. With my tavern brawler, I am proficient in uh, improvised weapons. So I'm gonna take this like a steel chair, and I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, you, you like one of the massage chairs in the, in oh, the, in the, in the yeah. mall. Okay, yeah, you can swing at him. Go, perfect, go for it. perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh shit, that's not good though. Uh, 12. Yeah, miss. He, uh, he kind of dodges and goes, <laughs> I look uh, inadvertently or like inordinately angry at that. Okay, cool. Um, turn. Turn? Um, it is now the blue clown's turn. And he goes, he's kind of dancing underneath you. And what he does is he takes his nose, his blue nose off and switches it with the green nose. And that was in his pocket. He does like a little magic trick. And he 
his, he just collapses into a colorful pile of clothes and he just goes Poof! and he reappears at the pile of clothes that the green one was in. And he goes, turns and looks at you who shot him with, who shot the green one with a bow and he chases after you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to make, try to make a grapple attack. Um, What's on you? Terrifying. Yeah, he, he's, he's very fast for a small little fi- figure. He teleported and then now he's going to move. he gets advantage after teleporting. Yeah, he does. Is that, is that what you think? I think so. That's accurate. I mean, he did make the game. Yeah, so 18 to hit. That'll do it. Um, perfect. So on hit, he does grapple because he's a small he's a small creature. So what he does is he just kind of grabs you and gets up on your back and just kind of like has you in a headlock and he goes <laughs> and he bites attacks bites attack you. Yes. Um, so with this bite attack, it is since he is a small creature and this is their only ability, he gets an instant crit. So it's basically two d6 of damage. Fuck these guys. Um, it's 10 damage. Oh, uh, he bites you and he goes, <laughs> um, it is now Tian's turn. Um, you, you see a big scream coming out of him as a cl- evil goblin clown bites him. Um, blood comes in, it is now your turn. You Anime style blood. Good gush. Uh, it, so there's a clown like that has yet to uh, <laughs> yet to make an attack. Uh, so there was four clown. Green is dead. Fuck. Okay. But green. But that now the blue is no longer ha- wearing a blue nose. He's wearing a green nose. So there are three clowns. Um. And I, is it reasonable I could get a shot on the attacking green clown without without maybe From range? blatantly hurting nudes? You could try. Yeah, I got that. You know how this works. Fireball. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 18 plus a few to hit. So that's a 22 to hit on the clown that's attacking my friend nudes. Hey, you hit him. Easy. Okay. I was going to see if there was any puncture <laughs> over puncture. Um, make it a good one. I wish I could go back in time in Hunter's Mark first, but you play, fine, play whatever, by the whatever. This is, you made this character up yesterday. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so <laughs> Hunter's Mark first, 15 points of damage. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I mean, you you basically brain him with an arrow. It goes through his weird little clown head and he kind of pops back up as it's bleeding and he just goes. <laughs> he's still alive, but he's barely. That's fuck. Uh, the, I, I, I think I did some marketing for these guys. That's probably why they're angry. <laughs> uh, they didn't pay their bill either. That's all I've got. That's all you got? Cool. Oh. Red clown, the first one that you saw peek behind, he goes, <laughs> takes his red one off, puts it on blue, poof, pops up near you where you're standing, and he's going to claw attack you um, for two swipes. First one is going to miss as you like go, oh shit. Um, second one is a 19 to hit, though. Little bitch got me. Okay, cool. Five damage as he swipes you. <laughs> I had tarot cards do worse, bud. True. That is fair. <laughs> Fuck loose turn. You've got a evil clown swiping at his ankles. One that beat, bit the shit out of him that is kind of hanging on for dear life. And then you've got one with a yellow nose that's still dancing there with a horn going. <laughs> Excellent. The yellow one is currently just dancing. Um, I uh, take a couple steps in stride towards that. Um, drawing out drawing out my quarter staff, uh, I take this thing and as I'm running, I throw it against the wall and as it bounces back, an orangutan hand grabs it. In bonus action, change it into an orangutan ape uh, and I smack this thing with a quarter staff upside the head. Orangutans, not monkeys. Closer to the elephant family. Is that this guy? <laughs> a 18 to hit? Yeah. Okay. Because the ape can do two fist attacks, can I get a second quarter staff attack? Nice. Wow. All right, so the first is eight, nine points of damage, uh, and then <laughs> second attack. Did you drop that in the coffee cup? Very close. Another seven points of damage, so 16 total. Yeah, you basically, his head spins around like Daffy Duck as he goes, <laughs> and then, back and then around, he, cl- he collapses, tr- pops into confetti. Ape noise. <laughs> well, I mean, that's your character. I'm not gonna ape noise for you. Um, pretty much cool. nailed it. Uh, yeah, perfect. So can we, can we fix that in ADR and make it look like I make it? Ooh. Okay. Um, make yeah, true um, look ridiculous. Which brings us to the top of the round. 
Zoods, Zoods, you have a sure. basically <laughs> what is a bleeding, crawling around little gremlin creature. What on do you. I have to do to get this guy off me? What do I got to roll? Yeah, you can't really reach him. He's on the small of your back, so you have to get somebody else to somebody else to help you. Um, Good thing you're so far away. Can I just like? Yeah, can, is there a way I can like slam him and me into a wall? Yeah, that's cool. Try you want to try to like do do damage yeah, to both of you? Like, okay, cool. Uh, what do I need to roll for that? Um, yeah, just give me give me like an attack roll. Okay. Uh, what am I adding? Seven plus one is eight. Okay. Now roll roll one d four. Two. <laughs> um, yeah, so you like just like get like a running start, just like do like a half gainer and just like slam onto your back as it, you hear like a crunching sound, but it's still like you still feel little fingers going. <laughs> whatever. Um, so you both take three or two damage, right? Cool. Um, cool. Um, <laughs> Rundy. Run and it's still alive. Rundy, Rundy, yeah, he, he's still he's still kind of crawling under there. He's like, oh, oh, are we, about, oh. Are we so both he, prone? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're both prone. Um, <laughs> this is so. I'm, I'm just working with what I got here, guys. Yeah. So um, what more can you do? You have the blue or the green nosed one that's on his back, and you have red nose that is swiping at his. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to use my movement to go over towards him. Okay. I've still got the sandwich board, and I'm just going to on the small on the on the fat part of the back there on the. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate clowns. <laughs> That is a 18 to hit. Yep. Eight damage. Yeah, you clonk him over the head. He goes, his head spins around and looks at you, goes, all right. And as a, <laughs> and as a bonus action, I get a free grapple. So I'm going to do a, a athletics check here. That is a 15. He just kind of dodges out of your way as like his proportions change underneath. You like go to like grab his shoulder and like his like body morphs underneath it and you just kind of whip through the cloth. And he goes, <laughs> All right, you're on your own. I'm going to back up as far as I can here. <laughs> but yeah, you, you clonk him pretty, pretty dang good though. All right, and then I toss my sandwich board. Now it's fisticuffs. It is the now the clown on your back. Cool. You know, he would normally stay there and claw you, but I'm hoping he doesn't. But he's pretty, pretty dang rough. He's going to try to make an escape. Um, what I'm going to say is he's you, you can feel him rooting for a change of nose. He's going to escape from you. I would say opportunity attack, but that's not how that works because I think it's like it, more like Misty Step. Yeah, it's more like Misty Step. So you just feel him rooting around and puts on a new nose and he, he confetti just kind of Flattens out. You fall. You you fall a little bit. You're on two shoes as the yellow yellow pile of clothes kind of comes up. He goes <laughs> and he books it down the hall. I'd like to sit up and just go, motherfucker. Yeah, um, yeah he books right. it down the hallway, um, which brings us to Feklu. Do I have an opportunity to attack? Uh, no, this guy is. He's gone. He basically um, missed. He stepped yeah, away. Yeah, he missed. Ran. He stepped away into new clothes. There's Which, still this this guy who just watched. There's still the, the red nose who just watched his friend disappear off, and he goes. <laughs> I killed the Love yellow the dialogue. So I kill the yellow one, and then this one pops up in the yeah, yellow one's clothes and takes off. Before you Got can, it. Go, you're like, oh. Got it. Um, can I see him from within range? The red guy or the yellow, yellow one, one running? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I have a range attack as an ape. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna throw your quarter staff? Yeah. Poop? What are you doing? Yeah. Like poop. <laughs> yep. That's exactly right. He eats a lot of fiber. I on command. It's like a brick. Yeah, dude. I just wanna. I wanna mark this thing at a distance, and I haul back as a monkey does, and I throw my feces. And that one. Yeah. So you, it's runny. It, it's runny. It's runny, and it just goes all over your party, as it just like splatters <laughs> and little spatters. And you go. I go. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. We're gonna talk about this one later. <laughs> Every time. Oh, uh, perfect. Which brings us to the other other clown, as he just boink, pops a new nose into the pile of clothes that somebody else has, and he scurries out the other way. Um. These guys are running away from you. You guys can either give chase, they're going in two different directions, or you can kind of like end it there as you guys have just been jumped by goblin clouds. I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on one. Okay. I have Hunter's Mark on the red nose. 
Okay, so there's 200 marks. So you guys can, that means you guys can kind of ping where they are. So they both are jumping around a little bit, like teleporting. You can kind of feel like boom, boom, as they go through the mall. You're like basically like thinking and like as soon as they hit the carousel, which is in the mall, everybody knows it's, there's always one in the mall in the yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. They go around once, around twice, out of your hunter's mark. Hmm. Well, I knew that carousel was so, fucked up. Um, basically, you guys are, one of you is kind of fucked up. You're a monkey. Uh, you're all covered in shit. Might be a good chance to go home, shower, and hang out for a little bit. Maybe get some Mario Kart in? Let's go home and smoke. Yeah, let's get, I mean, let's what else he's supposed to do? Uh, and you. Right. Words here. Definitely need to eat more corn. You need more fiber in your diet. I got some. I got some. Stuff so long rest tea for you. Uh, yeah. So before before that happens, you guys are you know drinking a little bit, probably zip uh, dipping into your again. Um, go ahead and roll me a three d six, please. Uh, you pointed at me, but okay. Yeah, rather, rather be his fault at this point. Roll it this way. Rather be his fault. Okay, twelve. Oh, uh, twelve. Fuck. Cool. Um. Yeah. So I mean, you guys Great start. Roll. You guys start to, to game a little bit. The apartments start to get a little hazy. There's a uh, you know music playing a little bit, and next thing you guys know, you the sun like is breaking through the blinds of your apartment as you guys wake up covered in cans, bottles, the smell of cigarette smoke hanging in as the news is on. Channel three, you guys turned off the N64, left the TV on. It's coming on morning news. It is 12 days after and 43 is the number on your on your forehead. You have a 43. That's not even a real number up there anymore. <laughs> guys, have you ever felt like you like don't learn any lessons <laughs> at all? Never, ever, ever. I feel like I'm too good. <laughs> Uh, I, have I don't know where we're getting this shit from, but maybe we need to tone it down. So 12 days ago, before you guys got into your ruckus of a, a huge fucking Mario Kart marathon, Jelfrey, Jelfrey, the fortune teller lady, um, told you that her grandma could probably be found, or Big Big Pooter could be found at the climbing wall, and he would know where her grandma is. Big Pooter, go in there. I bet yeah. Gregory knows where Big Pooter is, too. Oh my God! We forgot Greg. We forgot Gregory's mimosa party. We did. Oh, we did. Oh, well, we kind no, of slept through it. Be so mad. Mad. Yeah, the, the full moon came and gone. Your second blackout. Oh, Gregory is going to be so mad at yeah. this. But we should hold on. We should really like on the way down. Let's him. apologize. As far as you know, in the blackout, you might have attended the party. You don't know. Uh. Uh, <laughs> Let's just play it coy. Like tell him that mimosas were great. We were I'm there. Gonna stick with it. If I didn't remember it, it didn't happen because that's what absolves so you. You guys want to knock on, kind of like knock on his gestures. door? Yeah, let's talk to Gregory. Um, so you knock on his door. He has a, he has like a beautiful like ornamental wreath on his on his door that has like little like half moons and like little wolf like howling like Is just little wooden wolf? figures. But he's not home. Oh. Hmm. oh. You knock and knock. He's not there. So um, work. Big Pooters. You guys go to you know the cafe, get your breakfast. You guys all get the usual, yeah. um, and then you start heading off to the climbing gym. If you guys want to RP while you're walking there, so I can read this, that'd be great. You ever you ever feel like you don't uh, remember anything? Yeah. Yeah. When days. did that? When did that all start? The, um, I don't know, like forty days ago. It all started 96 days ago. That's no, nine. 96 or 96? 96. No, 96 or 96? Yes, 96. So 96. Yes. But 90. Well, based on yeah. numbers, yeah, yeah, it's more than that. But yeah, you get it. Yeah. Um, What's the number now? The, the number is 43 on. Uh, what is your character's Ooh, name? Roll 4D front now. Run D's forehead, yes. Does anyone have, like, do you still have that Sharpie? Oh, that Can we? I still have the Sharpie. Could we, does anyone have the ability to learn about the Sharpie in a magic way? So what I was wondering yeah. is if we could, you know, see if this is the Sharpie by writing a very low number on a different creature's head. On a different creature. Well, yeah, I not like of us. I yeah. want to find like a chipmunk and write a one on it. And if it or fucking... Maybe something tomorrow happens, you then the I, I've got an idea. Hold on. Hold on. So I'm going to take the plus one wet wipe that I got from Tiffany on the first day. Okay. 
And I'm going to try and like... Roll me uh, a d20, just straight up. All right. A five. Nothing Nothing happens. Oh. Not it's even a, a, it's not a, pl- even a it's smear. It's a plus one wet wipe. Not so even a six. Or not even a smear. Uh, or you you smell a little bit better though. It's like half of an eight. Mm-hmm. So Can maybe we could we just try put a one in add. front of it? Make it one hundred and forty three. We tried that. That gives you the information that you need right. if they ask about something. I don't know where this came from. With the magic, sh- maybe magic, magic sharpie. So, okay, so that's okay. the only item they've asked about. I don't even think they told you another item exists. I I keep saying if they bring this up and nobody's mentioned it. So, I would like to get to Carlotta. So cards cards on the table. Oh. Does anybody else have, have a card? Any maybe. Um, did you want to use your Sharpie before we get there? Mm. So you okay, you're talking about the Sharpie. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut in. Does anybody else have anything else that they don't remember getting? I, nope. Cause I've got a Blank scroll. All right, empty your pockets. That's it. Empty pockets. Uh, I throw a, a ring of keys with five different keys and a tarot so card. If you want to see what those are, you're wrong. Holy shit. Oh. I don't have anything, especially have a, not this. I have a blank scroll and a bag of gold. Okay. I have a sharpie. Nothing. Can I roll a shitty insight on this guy? What are you rolling insight on? He says he's got nothing. Okay. Uh, an 11. My minus two. I tie your 11 with my minus two, telling you that this is nothing that you need to worry about. I mean, so he, you, there's something like, something off. You don't immediately be like, he's a fucking liar, but like, he's like, he's being a little bit standoffish with you. So like, you, you're pretty good friends. You don't immediately suspect him, but there's like, you're like, okay. You being weird? Yeah, are you being, being weird? weird? All right, that's fine. So everybody that's been honest so far, raise your hand. No, put, oh, good. All right, I, I see what you did there. No, put your hand down. So what did, what did Feckler <laughs> have? Feckler, what did you, what did you have? Uh, I throw a set of keys. The, there are five keys on them. Yeah, and it's then, keychain with five keys. There's like an old, there's like a leopard print house key on it. Uh, like a tiny little key, um, a car key, and then a, like a really, really small, like very, in, like, small key with a number on it. So that's probably like a diary or a bus station key or something. Mm. Ooh, good bus station. Like a subway lockbox. Like diaries like for locking your Palm Pilot. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, good yeah. thought. Uh, and then I also have a tarot card. Which one? It's not the fucking tower, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the fool. Oh, the clowns. Yeah, Um. so it's like, kind of looks a lot like the tarot cards that you guys saw at the tarot shop. Um, it's a little bit larger than a playing card. It's ornamental on the back, thick, high, very high quality. And you see a picture of the fool on there. It is a kind of a jester that is looking up, laughing. There's a little dog following him and there's a cliff right in front of him. Uh, I want to run this by Carlotta. I didn't trust that chick in the mall. As a good rule of thumb, don't trust chicks in malls. Especially yeah, I mean, if they that's poison fair. you. Yeah. Twice. Mm-hmm. And so I've got a blank scroll mm-hmm. and you have a... Really nice sharpie. I mean, I don't know. That's nice. It's weird that you guys all have those things, and I and I didn't get anything except for the pen that you keep brandishing in front of you. This is not a small wand. <laughs> it's a pen, like you said. Do I believe him? Yeah. So <laughs> that seems. I had scissors somewhere. Let's see if you get that. So it's a small wand. No, it's definitely a pen. <laughs> That looks like a small wand, and I, I mean, don't know where it came from. I mean, yeah, that's that checks out to me. So, but right. I'm pretty sure I could write with it. Well, this could be a skinny bob for all we know. It could be a wand. It could be a skinny bob. I mean, I'll eat it and see. You can't just keep applying that to everything. Yeah, I absolutely can. Remember, kids, if you can eat it, it's legally beef jerky. It's got us this far. Until it fails me. <laughs> I just read what the wand does, and we're going to find that out shortly. I had a sharp. Uh, and uh, what did you have again, Slim Jim? No. I just have a blank scroll and a sack full of money. Yeah, so on the, on the scroll, it's just blank. It's obviously a spell scroll. Like, there's definitely something happening. There's nothing written on the pages, and you have a Sharpie. Right wish on it. Sorry. Um... I want to like hold this up to the light. 
Did I see anything like through it? It's parchment. There's, there's like a tea stain kind of thing happening. Right, so somebody spit on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing happens. All right. So. I, I'll, I'll bite. Does it look like it's ever been imprinted on or does it look fresh? Just blank, blank scroll. All right. I think we could write whatever we want on it. Yeah, maybe with a fancy Sharpie or a pen, it's not a wand. <laughs> this is not a pen. I, I, oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's a broken <laughs> wand pen. Pen. Mainly pen. Listen. Just stop asking me about it. G8, you're being oh. real. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it is. I don't think we it's need fine. to the ask truth me is about gonna it. It's going to rise to the top. All right. This That's cream. You're yeah. talking about cream. Oh, I am. You're right. Are you are you showing it now? Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah. I've, so uh, this is it's like a small wand. Um, it's made of entwined ro- wood rods. That one's black, one's white. Um, you know, one's kind of gray, and then one's like just wood paneled, and they're all twist together and tangle into like this like weird, sh- kind of straight, kind of crooked. Um, when you look at it, it's like almost like kind of changing your perspective. You're like double taking. But yeah, it's definitely something magic about this. It's definitely seems like it has a aura of contempt to it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Your pin's real ominous there, bud. I know. I, I honestly, I thought it was a joint when I kept feeling for it until I finally pulled it out and looked and I don't. Oh, right. So we make it to, after you guys have laid it all on, on the table, and now I know what weird items you have. Um, we're heading to the climbing wall gym, who, which is very close to the mall. It's one of those you know gyms that people climb with ropes. It's like a kind of an athletic thing. That They were definitely around in the year 2000. They were they're definitely on the cusp of it, though. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. They're like one of the first that are like, mm-hmm. mountain climbing is cool. He's like the first Starbucks store. Yeah. And uh, so you, you walk in, it's like a kind of an open gym. There's like a little reception area and some like chick just kind of wave, waves and um, waves you in. And in the back, you see a chubbier goblin in like a kind of a sweaty, like greasy, like tank top. He's, he's like, he's like, hey, you gotta, you gotta get that jug right there, man. You gotta, you, you gotta use your legs more. Get, get into it, you know? Make some love to the wall. You gotta get some more grip right there. That's little goblin, big pooter. That's probably big pooter. There's no doubt that's big pooter. She was right. We'd know him when we saw him. Um, he's like a big computer. So you get up there and it he's helping this like little elf boy like climb up the wall, kind of giving him some coaching as he's like, you know, by, belay? Mm-hmm. Belay? Yeah. Belay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have well no done. idea how I remembered that. Anyway, he's belaying. Carabiner. That's and another thing that exists in the world of climbing. A carabiner is, I want to say, a spicy bean. Guys, and on his clip to his like very thin strap. Uh, it's almost inappropriate, greasy strap. There's a name tag that says Lancelot, owner. Hey, what's going on, fellas? I'll be with you in a second. Come on, Susie. Are you? Ah. The, the, the little off boys kind of, you know, uh, is it looks scared. He goes, my, 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 my name's Jeremy. Yeah, whatever, Annie. Get to the top of the fucking wall. Mm-hmm. That's Lance. Yeah, Lancelot. The boy, he's goes to extend and falls and Lancelot probably lets him fall a little bit, a little bit further than he needed to before he ah, gets the tension on and goes, <laughs> Nancy, uh, you almost been to the top there. Good job. Hit the showers. And go, the kid goes, my, uh, my mom's not going to be here for another hour and a half. He goes, hit the showers. Get out of my fucking face, kid. And he, he undoes his belay and kind of goes, what can I do for you gentlemen? Ah, Lance, we're looking for big pooter, dude. Big Puda? What do you want a Puda and a Puda for? Ah. <laughs> Acting, <laughs> baby. Acting. <All> right. <laughs> anyway, nothing's free here, pal. So if you want some information out of me, maybe a little uh, little wager, huh? A little, little wager between friends? I yeah, even... first one to the top of that is the winner. That's exactly what I was going to say. Hell it's yeah. like you read my notes before I read them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, first one to the top, no safety harness, ah. Never had a safety harness in my life. This reminds me of that time where I had to do an exhibition match in the mall of Cincinnati. Went about the same way. Is that the one where you fell? Was that's, that- that's the one where I fell, yeah. Which one of you is gonna go up against me? I swear to God, if you take this from me, I will end you. Oh, <laughs> No, it's me. 
Oh. <laughs> Why don't we make it a little more interesting? How about if either of you two win? I tell you where Big Poodle is, no issues, it's a free climb, and either one of you, whoever wins, can come back for free wall time whenever you want. If I win, free you all pay oh, entrance yeah. fee, and then I tell you where Big Poodle is, because it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> Yeah, right. S save us some money. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a deal. Sure. Wow. I'll take all righty, all righty. Let's get uh, let's get ready. So it's a medium climb. What we'll do is you can pick athletics or acrobatics to go against Lancelot, the owner of a climbing gym. What if I have a climb speed? Then you're the guy to climb yeah, this wall. Yeah, you should have you should have spoken up before these two. Do you, <laughs> you think that I can coach them on how to climb, having been a monkey? No. Anyway, can I, can I throw 10 gold bucks down on Savage Rundy? The, the hands on your feet. Yeah, you whatever whatever, side, bets. whatever yeah. side bets hey. you guys want to have. So, all right, for the first for the first half, um, Lancelot, I mean, bounds up. He's done this 100 times. He got a 19. Did anybody beat a 19 with athletics or acrobatics? I haven't rolled. Okay, sadly, no. I rolled a three. I'm rolling 12. like shit all day. Oh, okay. I got money on this, Savage. Let's go. I rolled a 10. He makes it to the halfway point right before you guys, like way before you guys get there. And he goes, I'll even wait at the top right here, huh? Before I get going. He lets you catch up. And the, the second round, the second leg of the climb, the final leg. 16? <laughs> he got a nat 20. 19. Hey, you guys are slow as my grandma's fucking molasses shakes. Ah, uh, anyway, so he gets to the top. What? Molasses shakes were a popular beverage in the early 2000s. Were they? Bad of you guys. Did you get higher than twenty? Uh, no, nineteen. Yeah. So you guys, you guys make to the make it to the top. You're right behind him, but he's still it's, it's still cl close enough for him to glow and goes ah, it's all in good fun. Hey, for a couple of beginners, you guys did really well. I'm just saying, you come here, work out with me. You know, two maybe three times a week, we can go climb K two. And that'd be fine. Ah. Ah. I start doing yeah, push-ups. Anyway, anyway, that's a that's a gold from each of you. Oh. Deal's a deal. Yeah, right. I give him a gold. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you for doing business with me, huh? Anyway, Big Buddha's out back smoking. It's a smoke break. Oh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot your names, but then I forgot that I don't give a shit. Anyway, he's out back. The the employee exit right there. I'll take you back there. Thanks, Lance. Lance a lot. You say the whole name and you don't say it at all. Ah. He is a whole lot. <laughs> he, all is right. a lot. Lance, he is a Lance lot. Lance too much. I like this guy. <laughs> um, Maybe tag team later. Yeah. I get I get stepping. I go and push the employee door open. Yeah, you go through the employee, tower. employee room, which like, you know, there's like OSHA shit, Classic. like nailed to the wall. There's a schedule, um, a time crunch. There's like one of the old timey ones that like actually punch it. Oh. Um, I don't know why he needs one for his three employees that are on the schedule. It's, it goes front desk girl, Lancelot and Big Pooter. Oh. And they work every day. Wow. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really need a time clock. Um, it's either they're there or they're not. There's a couple lockers, and then in the back, there says it says emergency exit. Uh, do do not open, and it's cracked with a brick in it, and you can see smoke coming through there. Yep, sounds right. Crack the door. You see a goblin with kind of greasy hair slicked to the side, a black tank top, smoking. He's got a gold chain on, and you know a, a thin gold chain on his bracelet, a thin gold chain on his neck, and he kind of looks surprised when you guys go and goes, "Hey, it's employees only back here, guys." Does this guy just have the biggest ass on the planet? What do you mean? Do, can you can you get up so we can see your ass? What? Where is this coming? His from? name is Big Pooter. Name is Big Pooter. I mean, he's got to have the biggest. Pooter hey, are you on the Big planet. Pooter? Uh, he he kind of like lifts up his leg a little bit and goes. Oh. Then goes. What are you fucking saying? Oh. 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 Is, your whole character oh. arc is a fart oh. joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I couldn't hear you over the sound of my own magnificent farts. That was, honestly? Farts. Was quite good, yeah. That's what I, we came I, for. Like, uh, how, how many years did you spend in the conservatory? That was pitch perfect. It was quite good. He, he takes a drag of his cigarette, leans up again, and a little puff of smoke comes out and goes, what can Big Porter do for you? Wow. I incredible. Your body's a musical instrument. This was all improv. Acting. I've seen some good performances in my time, but ooh, that was... Ah. Hey, he he flicks Pooter. a cigarette that's down to the end, pulls in his pants, lights another one up, and goes, wow. 
What do you guys want? Well, right. I, we don't. I know that your time is very valuable. Uh, I can only assume. Um, we need, we're looking for Carlotta. Can you help us? Also, can I have one of those cigarettes? It's been like two weeks. We've never bought any. We've just been asking about them. Can yeah. I have a cigarette? Yeah. Cool. And I, I, I enjoy that cigarette. I smoke good menthols. Ah, uh, yeah. good man. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, well, Carlotta, when's the last time you've seen her? Uh, Big Buddha at the climbing wall, you know, I knew the whole time that Carlotta, where Carlotta was, but it wasn't made clear to me. That's the it. notes don't read like they're supposed to, you know? Yeah, uh, she's at, she's at the mall at the, uh, magic, the tele, fortune teller shop, all right? You know, you go, she you, goes, she, you pull, keep pulling, I kept pulling the devil card and it kept fucking biting me on the hand. Tell me about it, right? <laughs> no, I'm looking for <laughs> the hacky sack to play. Unflip the... Climbing wall, gym, beat card, flip back over the, uh, they have a quest, uh, quest point back at the mall, maybe. I don't know. Well, I mean, Carlotta's always there. I mean, when, when you guys, if you went and you got the, the bite, she should have been doing your cards, right? No, no it was still gel free. free. Gel free. She wouldn't know. know. Something. It's a mystery. Ah, uh, I mean, I've never seen no gel free there. It's always fucking Carlotta with a big turban and the fucking jewelry. We got duped. We've been had. Shenanigans, cahoots, something's afoot. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know any gel free that you're talking about, but uh, anyway, see you guys later. Uh, six days have passed, by the way. The number is 37. So we'll come forward. We all just left the mall fortune teller. We fast forward. You guys went into the apartment to chill out. The sun's coming through the window blinds. You guys wake up covered in cans at this point. Uh, uh, cans of bottles. The TV's on with the news. Six days later, the six number is... Six days. 37. 37 is brandished on your forehead. The last thing you remember is mall fortune teller. You got to go back. Guys, maybe could we like... Do more than one fucking thing in a day next time. No, man. I've got like way too much going on. Yeah, got, yeah no, we're degenerates. Yeah, no, you're right. It's not. A, it's That's a, a crazy thing to say, man. That's I, I tried. All right. This is how my family lives. We are barely adults. As you guys, as you guys, you know, get breakfast, your usual butter sandwich, two pieces of toast, whatever, whatever you, you get. get, and then extra protein. Extra protein. Um, yeah, you head off to the mall again. Bong, bong. Who has the highest uh, passive perception? You're 17, 17. Right? Eight. Anybody else higher than that? Cool. Uh, <laughs> you're you're very vigilant for super clowns. Yeah. Nothing I mean, has As you would be. Nothing pops up in your radar. It seems like everybody has an unpainted, uncolorful nose. But you find your way back to the fortune teller shop and it's open. You know, the, the red, red drapes, beads, pillows everywhere. There is... Nobody behind the counter, though. I investigate. Investigatively. Wise. Okay, yeah. I mean, so yeah, you get in there, you kind of start snooping around. Uh, are you guys all kind of following suit? Just kind of like peeping? I'd like to try and like Stand stealth watch. and like go check out the back. Stand out front trying to get okay, people to um, come get their yeah, fortunes. Before you can make it to the back, everybody kind of gets in. There is like a shh, as the the security gate for the mall that they like, you know, that they come down, like the, the chain link kind of fence slams down and you hear a <laughs> I knew it. <clears throat> and then behind behind the counter kind of pops up. It's not a she kind of was feigning the clown, the clown, but it's an old like a kind of like a hippie looking lady. She's older. She's got curly hair, big earrings, kind of like an Esmeralda vibe with like the thing and go. She's kind of laughing because <laughs> it's about time you boys showed up. Why does this grandma sound so seductive? <sighs> you like what you like. Just because I'm a grandma doesn't mean I'm not young um, no she's a hot young and, grandma and she kind of licks licks the tip of her finger and points it at you zudes can i have a charisma save please that's a, that's one a you immediately snap into place and all you can do is move your eyes no <laughs> does the same with you charisma save and she's as she's gone those finger guns fucking got me nine a nine frozen that's a 21 there, brother. 
Because charisma's never a dump stat, peasants. Frozen. What? Yeah. What? Well, it makes me feel <sighs> We all have ED. And, and then charisma save? Frozen. <laughs> Roll right. 18 on the dice. Well, well, well. I thought that you guys would come find me again. Do you happen to have my card you've taken? And she kind of goes, oh, right. And she goes like this. And kind of chucks away. You guys can speak now. Your, everything from your chin up is now unfrozen. If I can speak, I can fight. You're not a bard. Oh, <laughs> sugar. I have an itch on my head, though, if you could speak that. Yeah, whose head was itching? His. Oh, you? And she kind of glides across the room. It doesn't even look like her feet are moving. And she kind of does this old crone glide and goes, scratches your head. What the hell's an old crone glide? Our new patented old crone glide will now take you safely up and down any type of stairs for only five ninety nine, three payments, of course. It's like a... Is it hot? No, it's kind of oh, evil. I think it's hot. I bet it's, it's hot. hot. And she's, she's kind of scratching you on your head. Um, can I have another charisma save from you? Yeah, you can, buddy. This one will be great. Eight. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of lose all faculty as you are now... She's burning something into his head. Yeah, you, you are now like losing kind of your consciousness as she's scratching a little bit harder on your face as you now have a 40... 37. 37 scratched in that looks very particularly like Rundy's and goes, oh no, I've got another one. Number brothers. Um, uh, you, but you're, itch, complete, you're completely oh. under control. Carlotta, I'm gonna ask you to please stop inscribing numbers on our foreheads. Why? I thought you guys would appreciate the countdown. But we don't understand what it means and- Oh, uh, that's right. You boys probably wouldn't remember what we did together. No, not a, not a bit. Happens a lot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not a bit. Well, I figured you would appreciate how many, knowing how many days you had left to live. Oh, that was my worst fear. <laughs> <laughs> Why does you... everyone talk to us like we're our next hookup? Unless you can break the curse, because I, in all actuality, because I have no idea what's going on, I just figured that the next page is going to say we we do the do the deed. So everybody kind of has that sexually charged energy when I'm reading the first page, and the second page. You so I, none of that <laughs> note was in there. You just brought that Alan, energy. Alan, Alan was obviously in a mood when he wrote all this. Anyway, slander is when Jay says what he said just now, and then goes, unless you guys can break the curse. I guess that's not a problem for some adventurers like you, is it? Never met a curse I couldn't break. I too want to grunt. I want to try to turn into an animal. Flail against the chains of servitude all you want, but... Flail against the chains of servitude. Now available on compact disc and wherever terrible music is sold. It won't help you. Wait. And she snaps, room goes dark. You guys kind of <gasps> kind of come back to as the everything kind of began to just fail in. The fortune teller shop is empty. There's no curtains, there's no beads, there's no pillows. The smell of incense that was fresh in your nose a couple seconds ago is long faded. In fact, everything here is covered in cobwebs. It's dusty. It looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. And needless to say, Carlotta's not there. Are we still in the mall? Can I look out? I mean, you're still in the shop. The gate's still shut behind you. You guys are in this empty, what appears to be a long abandoned like like shop. Oh, like a modern mall. I mean, yeah, I mean, no. Yes, like a mall in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah abandoned ghost town of, uh, uh -huh, of a shop. It. Okay. But I mean, you guys are still in here. I mean, there's... Once again, the person that we're trying to give something to leaves before we're able to do it. They really want to go back to the apartment and talk about where they're going. You yeah, shut yeah, the fuck okay. up, Alan. We don't want to go back to that goddamn apartment yet. Honestly, <laughs> after everything that's I've been working Mario on Marty. the railroad. Mario Marty. Oh, but so on, your, I. on your way out, I mean, you still Wait, have to- How do they get out? The door's Yeah, closed. the door's still slammed, but on your way out before you go like, you know, try to crack this like chain link fence thing, um, there is a, a dusty placard on the wall that says employee of the month. And there's a picture of Jeffrey. It's old, 
It looks like it happened years ago, maybe like the 1980s. Mm. I wanna. So it's all like low res. Can I go ahead and take it out of the frame and see if there's any like hand, you know, writing? Uh, it, there's actually notes on here that says, don't let those pervs take it. <laughs> so I think it was just flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's just flavor. It's okay. Not, yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, no. I was looking for a, you know, a time yeah, to date. Yeah, 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 March 1987. All right. Oh, February 1987. I mean, January. It was all. It was all. Uh, it's like 15 years, years ago. ago. That's like a lot of years ago. Yeah. And Two years like, plus a month. And echoing, echoing you here. Oh, let me tell your fortune. As it quietly like exits your mind's eye, as a ghost. We hear that in the real world, or that was just brains? ghost. That was just ghost. Okay. Memory. This is just, just your memory. Yeah. So okay. Okay. Ghost, ghost flavor. Um, you're, you guys are still trapped in here. There's. I mean, it's a do my chain link work? Do my keys work? Roll a d10. It's fine. What did you roll? Oh, well, he rolled a 10. Oh, no, I rolled 10. The old, like, smaller one that's not, like, the diary size pops a lock. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Before we leave, guys, should we, like... Snoop around? No, why don't we just leave this fucking card here? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, yeah, you leave the card on the table and you you walk out of like the chain link that's now up thanks to Feklu. Um, and the mall is dark and abandoned. Like time's passed. No, it's like it almost never was open. Like it was under construction like this, this side, this wing of the mall. And as you guys are like trying to leave, it's almost like you hear a. <laughs> uh, so a mall in 2022. <laughs> yeah. Um, you hear, the same you goblin. think you hear like clowns as you like hurry, get out. Okay. So and then you, you make it out, you make it out of the mall, you get back, you start. Quick throw magnets at them, they don't know how they work. Oh. You start drinking, you start drinking, you start playing Market Party. So go to apartment rest. So yeah, you, you guys are starting to, starting to get into your blackout phase. Um, one of you guys noticed that on your answering machine, there's a bink, bink. Is it Tiffany? Bink. Bing. So of course Someone I listened to it. a message, guys, and this is way before telemarketing. Bing. Telemarketing was invented by Thomas Edison when he gave someone a telephone, then ran home and called them asking for money so that he could later become Iron Man. <laughs> I, I, I listened to it, yeah. Uh, what's up, dudes? It's me, Zach. Uh, hey, bros. Uh, have you guys seen my fucking keys? Uh, I have not find them. You, just call me back, dude. Guys, I think Zach's, we're Zach's one of your buddies. Um, you you haven't seen him in a couple weeks. He kind of hangs out at Jester's, stuff like that. You know, you guys are boys with him. Uh, you know his phone number. It's written on right next to the, the Domino's I number. I call him. Them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Zach. Zach Beckley, what's going on? Hold, hold on. Put that shit on speaker. Hey, hold on. Hey, I'm putting I'm putting I'm putting you on speaker. On the All actual right, speaker dude, phone. Fucking Zach. I it's know. the 2000s. So mm-hmm. Dude, uh, yeah. Uh, have you seen my keys, guys? Because, like, I remember, like, we were partying a couple weeks ago, and I haven't been able to get in my apartment for a while, so I just kind of broke a window and have been just kind of, like, living off my fire escape. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. You see my keys? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah oh, think- you've got my keys. Sick, dude. Well, I mean, I got this cool, like, fire escape thing going on now. Uh, I, I don't really need them back, but, like, next time I see you. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, last time we hung out, uh, one of you dudes, like, was, like, super adamant that I get this message to you. You say, you say, pee on the scroll. Um, you're like, it's crazy. It's a hidden message, like, cool invisible ink or whatever. But, like, you know, just pee on the scroll. I'm sorry, Zach. Did you say... To, to piss on the scroll. You mean- Brother, I'm just telling you what you told me, Rundy. Uh, I think everyone has to is what the message is. I started, oh, I yeah, started peeing like, on like, Rundy's all pockets. All the boys need to pee on the scroll at the same time and like, it's, gonna, it's supposed to be super cool and rad. I've been here before. If he calls us back and tells us to now eat the scroll afterwards, fool me twice, shame on you. All right, dude. Zip, this Rundy, is a, pee your pants, we'll Zip, all get there quicker. Zip, this is, this is, sounds a lot like the, the last time that like, 
You told us to pee on something. No, I was just trying to no, trick you, you so I could oh, see your okay. balls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> pretty 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 anyway, I got to go. Y'all stay cool. And like maybe the next time you see me, you can give me my keys so I can stop living on the fire escape. But anyway, later, dudes. Love ya. <laughs> and then click. And actually a dial tone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. On the Mickey Mouse phone that we have. I mean, get it out. Whip it out. All right, I rip out the scroll. All right, I pee we on have the to scroll. Master- pee in. Pee in. No, pee, not like that. Pee in. I'm a little. How do you follow that beat? I, I'm I'm a little pee shy. Can you guys like you wait outside for a second? Sing. We could sing yeah, for can you. Sing for me. Yeah. All right, hold on. All right. Yo, and I'm pee hero, like baby. the river. Pee, pee like, like the river. river. Yellow, Yellow like, like the river. river. P is yellow. Is this a song people know? No. (laughs) Was that all improv? (laughs) Drew's just amazing. (laughs) This was all improv. Acting. Uh, All right. So is this a Polish nursery (laughs) rhyme? (laughs) Amazing. So as the that's it. I rolled a thirteen, so I was able to pee. As you guys golden, (laughs) as you guys go golden shower the scroll. (laughs) I honestly cannot believe I belong. Scroll and shower. Um, it says this is going on. It says three words. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Maybe Maybe not now. Yeah, this is a Patreon episode. (laughs) Rule thirty-four. It says three words. Return the wand. Return the wand. This is barely a wand. To who? That's all. Pee more. That's all it says? It says return the wand. Can I pee lower into the right of the message? You know where a signature might be? I'm out of pee. All right, guys, I've got this tiny little wand. Uh, Okay, I'm coming clean. I've had this for a hundred days or more. And (laughs) it, for at least, okay, so years. I've had this wand for years. (laughs) I don't know who it belongs to, but I think that's what this message is about. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see. Yeah. the f- At this point, like, the phone rings again. Oh. It automatically goes to message. It go- automatically goes to message. And then it's like, yo, boys, my bad. It's Zach here. Um, I just I just tested it on, like, the, the example you gave me. And it says only only one person has to do it. You guys all don't have to pee on it together, like I was saying. But, uh. Okay, I guess it's safe to eat now. Guess that wasn't part of the prank this time. Anyway, if you guys didn't see each other's balls, <laughs> pranked you. And then uh, classic. Give him the goat. <sighs> All right. So, is this your wand? Uh, not mine. I don't no. know. Let me. Yours? Let me try. Yeah. It was my scroll. It goes off. Go to blackout. Fuck. What are you? The, oh, the, yeah. um, the yeah. wand goes off. Oh yeah. So it, it, it flashes just, like the men in black and. Um, <laughs> Uh, six. And you guys wake up. You guys wake up. The sun's shining through the blinds oh, of your apartment. Uh, <laughs> you wake up and covered in cans and uh, bottles. The number is 31 now. The the TV yeah, is playing news where you guys were playing N64 and you guys uh, shut it off and the news yeah. started in the morning. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. 31? 31 is on your head. The uh, bottle of cigarettes. Uh, His as well. Yep. They're yep. all counting down yep. the same way now. Yep. They're all right. still on your head. So... Uh, Who do we got to return this thing to? Make sure it's unloaded next time you pass it Well, off. so you guys don't know. Um, that's the thing. Yeah, you, so clear. <laughs> you, you guys have been blacking out a lot recently. Maybe it's because of your substance abuse problem. But you know that Jonesy, the dirty, dirty jesters, offers identification services in his like myriad of weird side businesses that he does. Mm. Zephronicus at the loft. Um, you know, don't know if it's his wand. You know, he has a bunch of weird stuff. You know that the fortune shop, fortune teller shop at the mall is closed and like that's a dead end. You think that like off the top of your head, Jonesy is probably your best bet to identify. So what if... And hear me out here, guys, because I've got a fucking splitting headache. What if we have to right the wrongs that we did when we were passed out that night and then give everything back? You know, to get early start to get to the zoo on time, but it's, it's going right. to be hard to do because with the money being gone and uh, we did use that we, to pay our time. We might need to All right, so here's, replenish some of that. So that's fine. No, we'll just rob the diner. Okay. Smart. And then we'll have the money back. Mm-hmm. Good and then thinking. We, I know. I'm hey, wait. Sorry. No, no, no. That, no, because then, we'll, no, then we'll have to deal with the comeuppance that comes from that. Yes. Wait, hold on. 
Hmm. We need to rob a lot of money in one place. There's got to be at some point those two lines have to converge and they have to. We have to, but we don't have time for that. We only have 31 days. There are hardly enough places for us to rob effectively on time. I would argue that we should just put our money How together. How much have we spent? Yeah, I think we might just be able to spot like rob the from each other, but voluntarily. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I don't know. know. So like you put your money on the table and like turn around and I just like put it in my thing here and we do that three times until we get to 500. Okay. So we're only short 140. Um yeah, I've got uh I got 50. Me... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me I bring lost out a my... little. Let me bring up my calculator John, if that's you totally really want to role play. There phone. is a Sharpie over there if you want to write the number on your head. On my actual head? Yeah. Oh no, no let's do that. But it's you can do that in final cut later. <laughs> All right. So I've got 382 gold. <laughs> okay. So plus I gave you 45, I, plus 40. Wait, hold on. I'm going to bring out my calculator. Which does exist. Yeah, calculators were a thing. They just weren't on. You weren't phones. allowed to use them in math class because right. you wouldn't have one my on your first and My teacher always said later. I wouldn't have one all the time, but she's yeah, a lying she's bitch. Fucking idiot. 382 plus what? I got 50. He's got five on it. Plus? Okay, 40. 40. I think he's holding out. All right, what? What do you have? 50. You've got 50. We're there. Yo, that's 522. We're there. Okay, that. And that. And toss a little bit of interest on it. And the wand. So he doesn't hate us. And the Sharpie. So where did the Sharpie come from? Uh, players got clear instructions of, you know, return the wand, but it's the only thing they're not talking about returning. Fucking Joster. Jonesy, Jonesy, dude. Jonesy. Very Sharpie. clearly Jonesy's. Okay. Jonesy so the money and Sharpie, Sharpie are both Jonesy's. Fingers. The keys right. are Zach's. Uh -huh. We gave the tarot card back. Uh -huh. That's all the shit we have. Uh -huh. Right? And the wand. And the wand. Which, ah, fuck the wand. We which don't. belongs to... Give the wand. I mean, I Return guess it was mine. Is what you remember. I gave me. it to you. Now you give it back to me because I wait, had wait. it. Do I have it currently if I rummage through my stuff? That no. It, uh, yeah, rum rummage through your stuff. You don't find it. Uh, you, you, you reach into your pocket and bink, speck in your possession. It's already back to me. Return. We did it. Check the scroll. Let's. I can't. The, no, the, the, the piss oak, oak scroll still says return the wand. I'm so dehydrated, I couldn't possibly pee again. Okay. While we've okay. got the energy, let's go return all the other shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then, yeah. You going to the dirty dressers? Jonesy. Yes. Um, right. Before you do that, you get breakfast. You guys get the usual butter sandwich, two pieces of toast. Tiffany. Is, is that whatever you the get. Way? No, he's he's remember he said he's living on a fire escape right now, so he's like he's like not super pressed about the keys. Mm -hmm. But like next time you see him though. Hey, I got a question. Right. Sure. If he was outside, how did we call him? Uh well he's on the fire escape and like he has a long phone cable. It's a cordless. Oh, cordless phones okay. exist. Oh, wow. That's true. Nine hundred nine hundred well, megahertz. He's just using yeah. he's using his fire escape as his front door with a broken window as uh, his front door. So like he's so why does he just is, unlock Zach his front door? Chilling. Why didn't he just unlock his front door? Zach's he not smart. He likes Probably. the aesthetic. Well, from the inside. Zach's not your smartest. All anyway, right. so we're on our way to Dirty Jester's. Um, Intelligence is dumb. You know, the, <laughs> it's, the, it's the weird laundromat, bar, tattoo shop, uh, music venue. It used, and, to, be, it used uh, to be charisma. Um, it used to be. You, you just hear like kind of band practice going on. Like, I hate my mom, my stepdad sucks, my dad sucks too, and I fucking sucks. Guess you weren't ready for that one yet, but your kids are gonna love it. Also a Star Trek reference. Jonesy sees you guys come in. He's like, all right, guys, take five. Goys. Goys. Right, goys. Hey, goys. Take goys. Five. Hey, you know what? I've got to do a lot of One talking. mistake. One mistake. That's all I remember about this story. I'm like a pack of chimpanzees. I have no idea what I'm saying next. <laughs> chimpanzees kill more people every year than heart disease and high blood pressure. Check your nards regularly. Your nards are a good indicator of how your ticker's doing. How's it going? Hey man. Hey. Uh, we've got. We did. You guys find work. out anything about the robbery? Yeah, great we work. we heard about what happened and we started a collection. We raised the money. money back. You, you did. You got. You guys did that for me. Yeah. yeah. And also, I found the sharpie. Might be yours. Yeah. Try it on. He, he pops the top and goes. <laughs> <sighs> that one's not mine, but I'll take it. <laughs> Right. That's what I got. You guys got my money back? That's crazy, yeah, guys. Man. Thank you yeah. so much. Because I was actually talking to some fellas and like, I thought, like, no, I'm not saying it was you, but no. like, people were like suspicious about you guys. No, but I was like, am I, who's talking? I'm right. my boys. I mean, us, you know us. Yeah. Somebody, somebody might have called the cops on him, but it wasn't Jonesy, but it was somebody. Yeah, I mean, people, I've been got a police report. Yeah, well, we heard. Said like, 
Well, we heard that a whole, like a whole bunch of cops got beat up out here the other day, so we were just wanting to like play that. Yeah, that cool. was pretty rad, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell him about my drug. Pretty sweet. What? what? You know I don't like the police, dude. I hate my dad. I hate the cops too. Oh, that was the best. Rocks love. That's my favorite verse. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, but thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Um, what? Do you guys need anything else? Yeah, like, do you, are you know anybody giving... who's missing a wand? Oh, a what? A wand. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, like, what's missing. Like, you guys got a wand or something? You need somebody to take a look at it? Yeah. No. Yes. Hey, Binksy! You see, like, the drummer that was, like, kind of, like, doing a whip it in the back, kind of, like, takes the balloon out of his mouth and goes, What's up, dude? Mm. Uh, I, the boys need you to take a look and identify something for them. And maybe, like, share some of those whippets. Uh, bing, first bing, of bing. all, my whippets. <laughs> Secondly, you have a whole what, nitrogen canister, sir. What do you guys? Share. What do you guys need me to identify? Yeah, could you? Do you, have you ever? Could you tell me what? Maybe what about? Don't t don't. He's got to touch it to identify it. it maybe just. It. I'll hold it and you just like well, give touch it to me. It. You know, I, I do drumsticks. He's like twirling a drumstick in his hand. Like, come on. I'm 100 percent like, imagining the drummer from uh, okay, Gorillaz. Okay, uh, just okay. Go. Oh, dude. Okay. Vibe, delicious. Oh, this thing is like way cursed, bro. Uh, ooh, goodness gracious. Were you guys like pranking somebody and get this out of hand? Why does it smell like a tabaxi litter box? It, uh, it fits uh, inside like a little plug. Oh, dude, this is like a prank wand or something, but it was like way strong. Whoever did this, like uh, a like a trickster god or something. This thing is vibe-alicious. So, believe it or not, Bixby was studying to become a pharmacist. Mm. Would, a, would a trickster god, for instance, always want to like, I don't know, like, see your balls? I mean, maybe, but like, usually like, if somebody's operating on like that level, if like, we're talking Fae, they're gonna be like, sending things after you, like to cause like ruckus. They're gonna be like tattooing your forehead. Um, you know, they're gonna be doing a lot of crazy, like high level stuff. Usually like just to see your balls, that's like a something your bro would do. Uh, anyway, let okay. me like try to get into the bottom of this as he kind of like is like using a little bit of magic and he kind of a little puff of smoke. The wand's gone in his hand and he goes, Oh, what's up, boys? When did you get here? Oh, and he boy. like pulls out the nitrogen can and starts doing. <sighs> Is it back in your pocket? I'm looking for it. Does somebody yeah. want to make sure he doesn't OD? Oh. No, he's fine. All right. Wow. Incredible. I don't want this magic. So after he kind of snaps back too, he's like, he's like, oh, dude, like a trickster wand. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's a prank wand. They're like, you know, like making somebody dress in like a, crazy clothes and like erasing their memories and then like, or like becoming like mean and like less jovial and then like erasing their memories. And then like, maybe it like punishes people or like for like doing stuff like that it was bad and then like erasing their memories. And then like he, this time, like as he's like getting after his nitrous and his like, doesn't have like, his, he's like, Kind of pull, pulling the wand back to him. Hey, just a hunch. I think that's what's happening to us. My character is smart and figure out the mystery, right as it was explained to me. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, high-level trickster magic like that is wild. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of unpredictable, but, like, it's usually, crazy, like, bro. to get, like, the ensnaring, like, grasp of, like, a high-level bro like that, you really need to piss him off. Off. Like doing marketing for him? Uh, yeah, or like not doing good marketing. Uh, anyway, I do want to try one thing. Unless you boys want to like, have any more questions. Uh, I feel like if he does whatever, we're going to wake up again. So let's let's get it all out right now, mm -hmm. guys. Can I have a, uh, some, a whip it? Uh, that kind of have like my... Got it. Okay. Well, you know, you got to ask. When your DM doesn't know how to mechanically include whippets into the game, I, I don't want to. I don't want to make you roll a D four or whatever for to lose an intelligence. Bro, do you want to like come over and like please some golden eye? Man, that's fucking sick. Yeah, I could probably show up after band practice if fucking Gen Z doesn't have me running around or whatever. Anyway, let's try this cool thing. And he flicks the wand, and the sun's coming through your, your window. Uh, you guys wake up covered in no, no, beer. No, no, no. Go, to the, go to the next card. 
before you roll. I mean, so you you kind of were like guys are middle of the party. Like you got, don't remember how it's like you had instant whip it. Thirty days. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, so you guys are like like coming to like you're still mid party, and you no you you have the highest perception. You're like in the middle of it. You guys are playing. And something catches your eye on both of these guys' heads as they're like headbutting, like breaking bottles. Both of these guys head. being, I'm yeah. assuming, the yeah, with a tattoo on their face. Yes. And Rundy. They both have ones on their forehead. And something just kind of clicks in your mind. This is the final blackout. Only one day left. Okay. Sounds like before my AA meetings. As you see them smash a bottle, laugh, and then headbutt again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Still undefeated. <laughs> you guys, you still, like, before you can, like, really get get it, like, uh, you, you're, you like, cracking open a beer. You're like, wait, I'm not supposed oh, Wait, some of this. Uh, give me a charisma save. Five. I mean, you, so you drink another beer. Ne next to notice is you as they're bashing. Uh. Charisma save. Did anyone not dump charisma but me? That's a five. It's five. Okay. Uh, and so eventually, you. Charisma save. All right. Let's do Just go down the list, I guess. Let's do a purple dice. All right, everyone. Come Critical. Tomorrow. That's a 23. Yeah. You, for, you are about to crack open a new beer and headbutt tank. You have a one on your head. He has a one on his head. And you have a one on your head. You're cracking up another beer, but you have the faculty to try to break everybody out of it. I slam the beer down. All right, all right. Yeah. So I'm getting really, I'm really tired. I'm really tired, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake it off. I'm gonna get on my knee and I'm gonna stand up and I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. guys. We gotta get through this. Yeah, we, uh, can I have a performance <gasps> roll, please? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> As you, yeah. Yeah. Oh. the mission rises to the top. Ooh, that's a, that's a nine? No, I'm sorry, that's a 11. Hey. Yeah, I mean, that's enough to kind of get everybody to kind of go, ah. well, what? We have one day left. <gasps> oh my oh. God, we're gonna die. Guys, we gotta do this. Okay, Last day, go die. out I on still a bang don't. golden eye all day. And we gotta do I it I think now. they did it, Jay, I think. Yeah, so the, my notes say, that's it, you win. This was all about the urge to resist partying and you did it, you level up. Yeah, start leveling and up. Stuff. And the final battle was to resist binging. They did it. They won. Bye. I'm, what happened? I'm sorry. Wait is a this second. a Nancy Reagan campaign? No. Is this a, is is this a PSA? It, it was a PSA the whole time. Why don't you guys level up real quick? Is this a no drug okay. PSA? Well, because, I'll level up because Randy doesn't like that. No, just half the battle. The other half is violence, extreme violence, and the third half is drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Length times height times width. It's basic math. I'll be back later with more facts. Stay in school, bitches. And Rundy's, Rundy's a jokester. Wait, I, I'm not even in this campaign. I've really got to stop smoking so much, but enjoy. So I'd rather up, die playing Goldeneye. Level up, guys. Fee touched. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good, Jay? <laughs> yeah. Everybody leveled up and you guys won? Are you guys happy that you won? Yeah. Just kidding. <gasps> you didn't win. One that tree. wasn't telegraphed what? at all. You what? didn't you didn't win at all. <sighs> That's shenanigans. As you guys are kind of coming to and sobering up, uh. you're in 64 cracks open and a swirling portal begins and all of a sudden, you in the portal, you see the face of Lancelot. Uh. You see the face of Jelfrey, uh. of the other characters, clowns. And then at the t it's just all, they all swirl as their faces and forms begin to come. And it, like a genie shape comes up. And it's oh, a, a stout humanoid with a wispy tail at the end, a, a hairy chest, a beard, and a big mane as he goes, Wah! as somebody that looks like an evil Jack Black kind of forms and yeah. goes, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> 
Looks like you boys have been risen to the top. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't talk like that. Retcon. <laughs> As he's floating around. And it's it's basically like, like a large pit fiend sized closet. It has wings that are too small to let it fly, but it's kind of hovering there as he kind of chants along and like has like this fayish energy. <sighs> Boys, it's morphin' time. You guys have one day left, it's time to collect. <gasps> but not the white one or the green one. No, no. I Wait, cast oh, we, have, we still have one day left, so why are you collecting I'm early? collecting early! <laughs> no! I need, I need everybody to roll initiative. <laughs> I'm collecting early! Um, the, the name of this guy is the Ganter Gobbler. That's, He's the physical manifestation move. of partying. Yeah. What? The Ganter Gobbler? The God of Ragers? We're gonna battle party itself. Bro! I think I'm just gonna hang out and party with this dude. I mean, I'm not the one with the number written on my head. I'm fine. <laughs> You gotta fight for your right to party here. Yeah. You gotta earn it. You should be fighting to stop partying, but however you want. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, this like floaty, impish, cherubish, like like guy with a fucking weird hairy bottom and like hairy <laughs> chest that's open, like between like this gross like vest and like a weird saxophone. He's like dancing around. He, you guys are in con combat, but Zoods, you get the jump on him. Tank, you're next. Is it a Funko Pop? I thought he, he, wasn't he a 27? No, yeah, Tank, you're first, I'm sorry. Got it, I wasn't gonna contest it, but I'll take it. Whoa, not many people start with Tank. Usually you might end up there if you've drank too much. <laughs> All right, so with my jump, I'm gonna knock two arrows and I'm gonna aim those arrows at flying Jack Black with baby wings. Yeah. And it's a 16 to hit. Um, yeah, you hit him. Okay, cool. With that, the arrows deal him an impressive seven points of piercing damage. He like, um, they just kind of hit him and he goes, nice, and pulls him out and throws it down. Ooh, I'm gonna reuse that arrow and I'm gonna slay you little bitch wing mother. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I cast, uh, what's my ranger move? Hunter's Mark on him. So you said this guy was fiendish? Yeah, fiendish Fey. He has like this like weird energy that's like chaotic. Well, my favorite foe is fiends. Oh, okay. So good pick. Hell yeah, that's Should super have been convenient. Cops, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> mine was pigs. Yeah, or clowns. Uh, clowns. I happen to pick clowns, knowing nothing. That's <laughs> yeah, weird. <laughs> Bonus action, gonna hunter's mark him, and then I'm going to attempt to hit him with uh my bow. Twenty four to hit. No one hits. All right, nine. I'm sorry. 12. He goes, nice, and pulls it out. He is going to kind of move, move like into the middle of the room from like the place in front of the TV, and he's gonna break your coffee table. Um, no. And then he's gonna punch, that he's gonna my punch. my favorite furniture. It really tied the room together, you table? son of a bitch. Yeah. Big Lebowski is my most favorite movie and my least favorite sexual position. Yeah, he just kind of smacks his hand, his saxophone down and breaks your coffee table and he goes, sl slams it into you with like a big left hook. Into, um, into who? Running. 12 to hit. That is a miss. Okay. And I will repost you. Okay. Nice battle master. Yeah, that's right. Uh, ooh, that's a 17 on the dice. Hits. So that is 2d8. 18 damage. Oh uh, yeah, Jack Black looking Jesus more like Kyle. Christ. How dare you? I pick up part of the table and I slam him with it. I mean, he's gonna go to hit you again. 12 again, he misses. He's going to bonus action, just kind of stare into your eyes and be like, wouldn't it be cool if like, you had a joint right now? And he's gonna try to hypnotic gaze. I mean, yeah. You. Can I have a charisma save? Sure. If we kill him, all his joints will fall out. It's like a pinata. <laughs> it's like a pinata. That's a real move. <laughs> a, a nine. You are under, kind of under a spell. Like you have this like creeping, like relaxation feeling. Like you're kind of zooted, and you have like a the smile. Everybody kind of sees like this like expression come over Randy's face. Yeah. And he's he kind of like is like that. You you have to use your next um, action to aid to use the help action for Ganter Gobbler. All right. He he kind of turns around and he's going to use his legendary action. Um, he goes, matter of fact, what if everybody was drinking? And he's going to need, I'm going to need con saves from everybody. Oh, as yeah. he as he does this like. Myself included? Uh, no. Okay. 
Nine. Big old nine. You fail. Four. You fail. 16. Uh, fail. Everybody, you guys are kind of have the poisoned status effect. But right now you guys are poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on attacks. Oh, okay. Rundy, you have to use the help action as your action. Perfect. You help him. Um, that clue? Your turn. Yeah. Um, You're a little I, bit drunk right now because of magic. Uh, I um, stumble. I stumble over to Zudes and I put a hand on him and cast Lesser Restoration. Ooh, um, that'll end his par uh, poison. Um, and then I bonus action into a black bear. Cool. Do I get to make like a save at the end of my turn or anything? Yeah, it's just one turn. Okay, so you're, you're right, done. Right, you're yeah, yeah, you're done. Brings us to the top of the round. Lair action. Wait, this is our lair. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, but he hasn't been playing the games with this fey god for a bunch of days at this point. Like he hasn't been blacking eight. out for a while. He's a really months. just, he yeah. sucks at, I remember you now, you suck at golden eye and you're a bad so fucking blue your, shell son of a bitch. So your bottom stairs neighbor, Rand? Gregory. 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 Gregory starts thumping something at the end and goes, hey, can you guys keep it down up there? I'm trying to have a mo next mimosa brunch. Um, so oh, this week. No, that was far ago. This is a different one. There's no way. Gregory oh, drinks a Oh my lot. God, he's in our head. Oh, the trickster guy, he's in our head. Is it anybody holding uh, an action or holding concentration on a spell? Uh, I was. What, what's your uh, spell? Hunter's Mark. Mark. Um, yeah, give me give me concentration checks for both of you. Eight. Uh, Eleven. Yep. You so you hold concentration. Your concentration drops. Perfect. Which brings us to the top of the round. Tank, you're up. Uh, okay, so I got disadvantage. I'm gonna get yeah, Zephyr Strike as a bonus because okay. I drink so fucking much. It usually gives me advantage. I'll mm -hmm. cancel that out. Yeah. And I'm gonna shoot him with an arrow. Uh, straight it's roll. a straight up roll, which would be a 19 to hit. Hits. And then with Zephyr Strike and my arrow, 11 points of piercing damage okay. against Flying Pig. Now I'm gonna roll a con save to free myself from his drunkenness and it's a uh, 15. Yeah, so you're, you're free, you do big damn, he kinda goes, mm, yeah, and pulls it out. I hate that. I forgot yeah. about that part, yeah. This is nice, I like hanging out with you boys. It makes me not wanna hit him. <laughs> But also if makes me want to hit him more. <laughs> um, anyway, Zudes, it's your turn. Unless you're done. You have more? Yeah, no, that's it for cool. me. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> that's it for me. Thanks. Guess I'll uh, shoot another arrow at him. Yeah. Ranger move. 16 hit. Hits. All right. 18. 18. Wow. Very much. Wow. Big, big damn. Yeah. So, I mean, he goes, yeah, love that. And kind of like licks his finger and kind of goes around and goes, what, but what if I did this? And he kind of swings his saxophone around and oh. tries to clock you in the head with it. He's gonna, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. And then, yeah, his, as a bonus action, he's going to bring it to his lips and goes, it's party time. I need everybody to make a charisma save again. No. Uh, is he trying to charm us? That this is a charm effect. Yeah, this is a charm. All right, I have advantage against that. Cool. 17. Pass. 14 team. 14. Fail. Team. Fail. Yeah. Fail. Ooh. Yeah, so, so they're all, all three. He, he kind of looks at all you guys and goes, why don't you get on your brother right there? Everybody needs to make an attack action against Tank. That was his bonus action. For his action, he's going to kind of disappear into a cloud of smoke and reappear at the back of the apartment um, at a range from you guys. Randy. You have to use your action to hit old tank. I know that we've been partners in the past, but he tagged me in and I got to do it. Uh, I rolled a six. That's a 14. That misses. Oh, uh, good. Uh, good thing I know your moves. I've studied your moves. Nobody knows my moves. I'm unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay. you move like they tell you to move. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> That is, that's the it's end of your turn. You're, you're no longer in under the, his hypnotic sacks. Uh, Feklu, your turn. You have to, to attack him. him. 11 against his AC. <sighs> yeah, so you're, you're, you're See you later, you're like, buddy. Guys, at the end of your turn, you're done. End of the turn order. He's going to use a lair action and goes, what if we cleaned up this place a little bit? And he's going to just kind of do this big gust of wind and all the bottles and cans that have been just piling up are going to come at you like shrapnel. Um, I need deck saves from everybody. Oh, no, that sounds like hey, you're gonna be theory, but not, not right Fuck. now. Fuck! Great at decks, roll the one. It's a five for me. 17. Okay, pass. 
Seven for Rundy. So, oh, yeah, I'm doing this again. Hold on. Okay, it's an 11. Fail. Pass. 12. Fail. Seven. Seven. For my failures, you guys take 13 points of damage. Half for my successes. And he, he's sitting there and he looks, he's, he's looking bloodied and like he was kind of hoping that all this, this trash avalanche would take you guys out. But he's like in the kitchen, he's like, oh yeah. You didn't and need so much clean as you just moved it all around. Yeah, there's a big pile. There's a big, just huge pile of just trash at the other end of the house. He goes, I thought that would work a little bit better. It is now, take your turn. You got a bloodied, bloodied avatar of intoxication, trickster. I'd like to get creative, but I'm gonna get creative by taking an arrow out and I'm gonna tell him you're really gonna like this one. You're a ranger. You shithead. Uh, it's a 24 to hit, 22 hits. to hit. Hits. Uh, Zephyr strike as well. 10 points of arrow piercing damage that I've already instructed him. You're not gonna like this one for flavor. So he does like it, unfortunately. God damn it. But how do you wanna do this? Oh. oh. The arrow, like it to pierce his wings together so that he kind of falls into the pile of shrapnel that he threw at us and all the cuts kind of saw him to death in a saw-esque finishing move. Oh, where I can be funny. like, yeah, now we're gonna take out the trash. Uh, <laughs> oh, so so he's as like, all, it's been lacerated. He's like, he's like, yes, but it's too late for you. The damage has been done. As it appears like he's like being dragged back into the N64. Um, as he's getting clawed and scraped, he's like, mm, uh, uh, and then he goes, he's finished and goes, it's too late. You guys are already alcoholics. <laughs> and then he gets back into the, he gets back into the N64. I decided to state the subtext, just like Carl Jung recommends. Jung. Jung? Yeah. Like he's like trying to claw like himself out, but he goes back in and then a little comes out from the memory port and golden eye that was on the TV just kind of shuts off. No, and, and there's like an no. error, there's an error message, like a Nintendo error message. Oh, it's fine, just blow out the cartridge, it's fine. And then, I'm never and blowing then, another cartridge and then, again. It's not working. You black out. And then no. there's, an, there's another card. You guys, the sun starts coming through the apartment ah. window. <laughs> you guys wake up in a bunch of bottles that are broken, <laughs> cans, the sit out cigarette. Yeah. Um, Oh, this, some of you guys have bad mouth. Uh, and instead of having like browned out memories of partying, like you guys have been, you guys wake up remembering the fight. It's a little bit more crisp, but you know that like evil Jack Black had kind of hit you guys with one more blast of intoxication. Like it's early in the morning. It's, uh, and by early in the morning, I mean, it's it's a little past noon, the crack like of noon, 12, yeah. 15. Um, but other than the a giant mess, everything's exactly as you've left it. I look you at guys, it. I think this was a roofie. I guys, I found my cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I look at his forehead. What's the number on his forehead? There's no number on his forehead. Oh. The wand is also gone. Guys, is there a number on my forehead? It looks like a fist there, mark. There's not. The number is gone. Oh. So, um, what was the lesson that we learned here? Yeah, you guys Buck want to smoke and play I... some... I say we get high and do Mario Kart. Yeah. You're, so you try to turn on your N64 and it doesn't turn on. Ooh. Upgrade um, to next gen. When's and, PlayStation come out? Got, PlayStation 2 actually came out in 2004. This is actually true. Um, and get breakfast, you know, the usual. You see, somebody sees the blinking light on their answering machine. Oh yeah, let's, let's press that. Yeah. Press that. Sup, dudes? It's Zach. What up? <laughs> it's, it's an answer machine, so there's no like, there's no answer. Um, but like, <laughs> hey, like, you know, a circle to <laughs> <laughs> last night, last night was kind of crazy. Like, I don't really remember what I was doing, but I was basically working my whole shift this morning. I, you know, I work at that lemonade stand right underneath my fire escape, and somebody told me that somebody had written a sixty nine on my forehead. <laughs> if one of you guys did that, that's crazy, but it's not cool. I work with the public. Anyway, if you guys want to come play some like Goldeneye or something later, let me know. It's see ya. The what end, an and and left deal. the door open for a sequel. What? Yeah. <laughs> we Seven. should definitely go play some Goldeneye since I'm just fucked up. Yeah. Zach, Zach's so fucking weird that? being that sober all terrible. the time. Why did I write so that? What an ineffectual demon. Uh, like it just takes degenerates yeah. and so, fucks with them for a couple months. Yeah.
Hey, that was Realm 69, the hard-hitting mystery realm. Stay tuned for wrap-ups, confident, wait, what am I saying? I had a blast with that. I wonder how it was from, from your point of view. From my point of view, uh, the experience was just as bewildering and kind of mysterious as, as many games, you know, that have experienced. So I wonder uh, how that, you know, how that affected you. But for me, from from my player character point of view, um, I actually felt really engaged by the story and kind of pulled into it. The ticking time bomb certainly add the pressing effect of, of oh no, that we had to compete against. Uh, I that was definitely definitely f fun to do something like this. I would definitely do it again. I do feel like half the time I felt like a fucking crazy person because I was trying to pay attention to what you guys were saying and having going on while trying to read what the fuck is going on. So I felt like I had to be on my P's and Q's, but it, it, it definitely felt really threw fun. you in the shit. If we did a similar concept again, is there anything that could happen to make that easier? Uh, no, everything was really well thought out. You did a great job with kind of having everything laid out for me. <laughs> I mean, uh, we didn't even get, he had just a little inside baseball. These are all the events that we didn't get to. Wow. Well, so, had the possibility. Well, so, I don't even know what Nightcrawler is. Well, well, one is if you failed, you would end up in jail mm -hmm. and, or if someone died and you couldn't revive them, there was a hospital. So that's more just like, Hey, what if combat went wrong kind mm -hmm. of thing? If we were really sure there was a mini boss to stretch out combat. Yeah. So I did say you could do whatever you wanted to. My original intent was everyone sees the number and human nature nature kicks in and they don't tell him. But Jay right away said, everyone sees the number, which was fine storytelling wise, but I was hoping at least a day would go by, they wake up and see the number change. And they would be like, oh, by the way, we need to tell you about this number thing. Um, so that didn't happen, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like since I had no idea what was going on, it feels like a bunch of different weird interactive scenes that just don't go together, but there's an overall arcing point. There are so many questions that now have no answers mm -hmm. and it felt like a fever dream oh, the whole you, did time. You, do you want answers from me? It was wonderful. <laughs> where did the clowns come in? I don't know. Yeah, where did they I go? I was trying to think of something of that era that was in the where zeitgeist. They come from, the, somewhere around there, like oh, clowns creepy, popping creepy up. Clowns. It was sort of like a memento, except you don't find out what happened. But you could, it is like this stupid, like exaggeration of a morality play. Like, oh, if you don't stop drinking, you're going to keep blacking out. But then also it was, there was a little bit of prank stuff in there because like, if pranks go too far and become gaslighting, you know, someone waking up with a 69 in their head and not telling him, totally funny. It keeps happening and Gantor Gobbler shows up and turns Gantor into Jack Black Gobbler. and fights you. I don't know. It uh, was stupid. So, so it's, the, it's the ring meets an acid fever dream. And Memento, maybe with, a little bit of- Pick of Destiny in there. Maybe a little bit of Primer, which is a good, it's like a, Primer is a time travel movie, but it kind of involves blackouts that you don't ever see. You just have to assume, oh, something happened while, like reality got erased, but you never, uh, spoilers. That's I just spoiled a really good a movie. Reference, but a Netflix show, Russian Down, very similar. A little bit. Sure, yeah. It keeps yeah, waking up yeah. over again. Also a reference. I, I, would, I would like to say that as a, as a gifted child that grew up to be an underachieving adult, I learned no lessons here. They weren't lessons for us, just no, for the that's followers. True. That's that's fair. But I think that Stay in school, true. kids. Don't do drugs or whatever. Unless yeah. you want to be really cool. Yeah, I, I had every intention of playing this character. I had every intention of playing this character as soon as I thought of it about 15 minutes before we started playing. Uh, that I was going to make him like a philosophy, kind of like an un unbearable philosophy student. And immediately, just like in real college, I just slouched into smoking too much dope and yeah. drinking too much. And you know what? Kind of turned out just about the same. Turned to be out just right. Yeah. Just about. Yeah. Unfortunately, for one shots, I know people build a character, but then there's there's little. We run out of time quickly, and yeah, there's not a lot of it room. Was perfect. For, yeah. Thanks for watching World of Hundred Realms, Realm Sixty Nine. Please like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you next time in our next world. What? <laughs> My ears. <laughs>well, you know, we're doing an optional combat encounter. It's a real mama doozy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mama doozy. <laughs> <laughs>